Chapter 2241 Despicable Trick The Earth Exploded, and a huge net of earthen roots covered the sky, enveloping the blood race's experts. There was nowhere for the blood race's experts to go. Earthen net slaughter, Luruian shouted once more, and that net shrank in an instant. The roars of the blood race experts inside were cut off like they were severed with a knife. Blood dripped out of the ball of earth in the sky. In one move, Luruian had emptied over half of the battlefield. What a vicious move. Even Long Chen jumped. He had never seen this move of Luruian's, so it was most likely a new technique she had just learned. Before this, Luruian only relied on her branches to attack. She had never attacked with her roots. Ruian's roots are her true killing tools. Her roots and branches manifest yin and yang, forming a cycle. According to her, if it wasn't for the yin yang immortal grass's help, it would have taken her centuries to comprehend this ability. The cycle of yin and yang contains the essence of heaven and earth. In this state, she cannot be destroyed, and her power is endless as long as there is still energy within heaven and earth, said Chu Yao with praise. Lu Ruian's power had surpassed everyone's expectations. The Undying Willow race was extremely powerful. Thanks to Lu Ruian, everyone had a chance to breathe. Lu Ruian's roots returned to the ground, and her branches continued slaughtering the blood race experts. Hm Shia Chen's expression suddenly darkened. He looked behind him. What is it? asked Long Chen. Boss, someone is secretly siphoning the blood mist in the air to take away a portion of the essence blood said Xia Chen. Xia Chen was in control of the Grand Formation. Although it didn't look like it was doing anything, it was active underground. Through that formation, Xia Chen was absorbing the essence blood for when the battle was over. Naturally, he had been keeping an eye on things from the start, and when Lu Ruian instantly killed so many of the blood race experts, Xia Chen sensed some kind of force stealthily absorbing the blood mist. Although it was well hidden, even managing to slip past Long Chen's sharp spiritual perception, Xia Chen's formation still caught it. Is it the outer branches of the divine families? asked Long Chen. Xia Chen nodded. Boss, what do you want to do? Do you want to give them a bit of real blood to deal with? Don't be so petty. Give them more than a bit. Long Chen smiled. Xia Chen also smiled and stealthily formed some one handed seals. Within the camp of the divine family's outer branches, there was one elder holding a palm sized furnace. The furnace had blood stains on it, and as the formation inside it worked, blood mist began to appear inside it, condensing into one drop after another. Hundreds of elders were surrounding this elder, blocking others from seeing his tiny movements. Too slow. Can you go faster? This little bit of essence blood isn't enough to share, said one of the other elders. I can't go too fast. If we're noticed, that would be bad, said the elder with the furnace cautiously. What are you afraid of? They're just a bunch of novices who have never seen the blood race before. They don't have this experience. If we don't take a bit of advantage, we'd be idiots. Hurry up. Just how little will each of us get at this rate? Demanded the first elder. Fine. The elder with the furnace hesitated but seemed to feel that the other elder's words were reasonable. Thus, the furnace in his hand grew until it was a foot long. The mist gathering inside the furnace grew denser. More essence blood began to condense inside. A bit bigger would still be alright. We'll use magical arts to block you from other people's senses. The first elder was amazed at seeing so much essence blood, but he was still unsatisfied. When he looked over at Long Chen and the others and saw that they weren't acting odd, his guts grew. Hence, the furnace grew again becoming the size of a person. More and more essence blood gathered. That's about enough. Don't release its divine power, cried the first elder. This was too conspicuous. Stop, stop. Others will see. Someone whispered angrily at them. The furnace's aura had grown along with its size, and the surrounding people were starting to look over. Hurry and stop. What's wrong with you? Shouted the first elder. I, I. The elder controlling the furnace was pale. Terrified, he said, I can't control it. The furnace suddenly grew until it was the size of a mountain. The other members of the outer branches were startled. What are they doing? Everyone's attention shifted from the dragon blood legion to the outer branches of the divine families. Seeing their panicked state, they couldn't understand what was going on at first. 
They're taking the essence blood. In just a moment, people saw traces of blood flowing through the air into the furnace. Despicable. Didn't they say that all the rewards for this battle would go to Long Chen alone? The Dragon Blood Legion is fighting a bloody battle at the front, while the outer branches of the Divine Families try to steal from them? Isn't that two shameless people were dumbfounded? Were the outer branches of the Divine Families really shameless to this extent? The furnace continued to grow, and its suction force also magnified. Their little plot was completely exposed. The Righteous Paths experts began to curse at them. Is there really anyone as shameless as you? Can the outer branches of the Divine Families care at least a bit about face? Hearing their cursing, seeing their disbelief, those elders wanted to dig a hole to bury themselves in. It's a misunderstanding. This blood-condensing furnace has its own spirit, and it automatically activated to absorb the blood race's essence blood. We can't control it. Don't you see us trying to stop it? Shouted the first elder. That wily old fox instantly found a good excuse. That explanation was questionable to people. It was true that these elders were trying to suppress the furnace. That excuse is really good. Xia Chen laughed. His hand seal suddenly changed and the earth quivered. Boom. The furnace exploded. And a terrifying burst of power blasted apart the elders controlling the furnace. That sudden change was even more dumbfounding. The furnace was just a quasi-divine item. And it wasn't even a battle divine item. How could its explosion be so violent? Hundreds of nether passage experts were killed in an instant. Nicely done. Gu Yang patted Xia Chen on the shoulder and gave him a thumbs up. Ha ha ha. Guo Ran laughed, causing everyone to look over. Guo Ran immediately sensed that it was wrong and apologized. Sorry, I'm new here and don't know the rules. Am I supposed to laugh directly or wait in line? That appearance of his that looked like it needed a spanking made even Meng Chi, Chu Yao, and the others chortle. Gu Yang and the others on the other hand laughed without any restraint. The outer branches of the divine families had come with fewer than a thousand people, and the explosion of the furnace had killed hundreds of them. The elders further away were coughing up blood, seeing Long Chen and the others laughing and patting themselves on the back. One of the elders shouted, Bastards, you did this. You killed so many of our elders. Just wait. When I report this to the divine families, hey, are you an idiot? Are you blind or are you deaf? Didn't you hear those elders say that the furnace had its own spirit and they were unable to control it? The furnace exploded because it absorbed too much essence blood, killing them. What does it have to do with us? Sneered Guo Ran. You, that elder was gobsmacked. In truth. He had known what was happening. As those elders stealthily absorbed the essence blood, he simply acted like he hadn't seen anything. Of course, if it had been pulled off, he would have had his own share. Since Long Chen and the others were laughing, they had clearly done something, but he couldn't do anything to them because if he proved that they had done something, it would also prove that those people had been stealing the essence blood. He was stuck. You're clearly laughing at misfortune. We sacrificed our people to stop the furnace explosion. And you laugh at us? That's clear disrespect to the divine families. The elder switched tactics. Using the signboard of the divine families. Give it up. Do you not know what your own side was doing? And you even have the face to bring up the divine families? You've lost all the face of the divine families. Furthermore, what's wrong with laughing? You lost control of your furnace. So why can't we laugh for the heroic display of the dragon blood warriors? What a terrible excuse, mocked Guo Ran. Guo Ran's words were very sinister. He had almost directly said what had happened. If they could be shameless, then he would be shameless too. If they didn't care about face, then he wouldn't care about face either. Just who was afraid of who? The spectators had also guessed what had happened. Looking at the outer branches of the divine families. They shook their heads contemptuously. Chapter 2242 The Bravery of the Blood Race The Yi family's dogs are just like their masters. That little fellow is correct. The divine family's face has been completely lost by them. Up in the void, Shen Chen Feng and his experts coldly witnessed what happened below. Killing intent flowed out of him. He had an urge to go down and slaughter all of them. They were hiding in the void through a formation. They were far away enough that no one knew they were there. Commander, what is the Yi family doing? These outer branches are completely out of line. 
Can't they properly manage them? One of the experts beside Shen Chen Fen frowned. That person was a nether passage expert. He looked to be in his thirties, but his eyes spoke of things he had seen. He was a true expert, someone who had followed Shen Chen Fen for many years and had always been his right arm. The interior of the divine families is too complicated. Some things aren't for us to ask, but these outer branches really make me want to choke them, said Shen Chen Fen hatefully. This Long Chen's not bad. He has power and wits. He killed so many of them, and yet they don't dare do anything to him. They don't even dare to make a sound, praised his right-hand man. Wits? How come I don't see any? Shen Chen Fen laughed. If Long Chen really had wits, he wouldn't be the enemy of almost the entire world. If he had wits, he would be slick and sly, knowing how to switch tactics to different situations, knowing how to avoid danger. At the very least, in these areas, he didn't see any wits from Long Chen. This Long Chen is truly a marvel. If he can be raised properly, perhaps he can become a sharp weapon, Shen Chen Feng said. He is a double-sided sword. The higher-ups might not like him. Only children that listen get to eat their fill, and Long Chen clearly isn't one. Although Elder Long likes Long Chen, to get the full support of the divine families would be extremely difficult. Just think, to have 10,000 people block the attack of the blood race. It's clear that the higher-ups have stringent requirements for Long Chen. Commander, do you feel like Long Chen will succeed? Shen Chen Feng shook his head. It's difficult to say. If we were following the historical records, then perhaps the Dragonblood Legion would have been able to last three days. But this time, the Qi Flow eruption was extremely strong. That indicates that this tribulation is on a completely unprecedented level. The Dragonblood Legion managed to occupy the strongest Qi Flow stream, but that advantage will only show upon advancing to the Nether Passage realm. Currently, they don't have that much of an advantage. There were a few aspects to the Qi Flow eruption. One was that within the Qi Flow stream, it was easy to charge through bottlenecks and shackles without the foundation becoming unsteady. Instead, the foundation would only grow more stable. Another aspect was that those supported by the Qi flow would be blessed by heaven and earth. However, that kind of blessing would only truly manifest in the Nether Passage realm. Breaking through to the Nether Passage realm was the most dangerous bottleneck in the cultivation world. The odds of death were extremely high. In fact, part of it didn't even relate to power or talent. Sometimes it was just luck. Some powerful geniuses had died when advancing to the Nether Passage realm. While some people who hadn't had much hope at all had managed to succeed, the Nether Passage realm was the most difficult realm to understand on the path of cultivation. Even the Qi Flow eruption couldn't change that iron law. If they wanted to enjoy the benefits of the Qi Flow, they had to enter the Nether Passage realm first. So the current Dragonblood Legion was truly at a disadvantage. Novaloon.com, however, at least up until now. The Dragonblood Legion has been fighting very steadily. They haven't needed to use any big moves. This was true. The Dragonblood Warriors were still fighting individually, and Lu Ruian was able to stop any stragglers. Shen Chen Fen once more shook his head. You don't understand. The Yun Yang world is different from our battlefield. The ones coming out right now are just cannon fodder. Their elites want them to die. They want them to die? But why? Because you haven't entered the core of the divine families. You don't understand. Last time, Elder Long told me he received some reliable intel that these invading races have been accumulating power for countless years to the point that they are no longer able to endure that burden. In other words, the blood race has raised too many warriors, to the point that there aren't enough resources to go around. This is their way of reducing their burden. They sent cannon fodder against the Sovereign Seal. And now that the Sovereign Seal is gone, the Cannon Fodder has lost any value, and so they're sending them through. The Divine Families had their own ways to gather intel, but only those on the level of Elder Long were qualified to receive that intel. As for Shen Chen Feng, he wasn't qualified. He had only heard Elder Long mention it. Elder Long had mentioned this to Shen Chen Feng to make sure that he was mentally prepared. He couldn't get paralyzed by any sudden changes or it could be calamitous. The experts behind Shen Chen Feng were dumbfounded. If that really was the case, then just what kind of terrifying level had the blood race grown to? 
Now you know why our 8th Legion was called from the ancient battlefield. Even I thought that this was just a minor matter. The remnant sovereign aura prevents those at the fourth step of Nether Passage and above from entering, so this should be an easy battle. However, the Blood Race has too many members and can use flood tactics to overwhelm us, while leaving its elites for the final blow. We cannot be careless, warned Shen Cheng Feng. Yes, the experts behind him assented. They put away their indifference and began to carefully examine the battlefield. Sword Chi was sweeping through the battlefield. It was a bitter sight seeing so many bodies being sliced apart. The dragon blood warriors were covered in blood, but that blood belonged to the blood race. Lu Ruian's giant willow body was still blocking the channel. Not one fish got through the net. Whenever there was a sign of things growing too intense, the earthen net move would be used once more, slaughtering them. Boss, something seems off. So many of them have died, but why is their morale completely unaffected? They even seem to be growing crazier, asked Gu Yang. The blood race's experts were continuing to charge forward, completely disregarding their casualties. They stepped over countless corpses without any hesitation. It had been six hours since the battle had started, so their corpses had piled up into mountains. Just what kind of terrifying will was required to continue charging forward like this? This is the blood race's innate nature. The dead members of their race release a bloody chi that stimulates the nerves of the others, making them crazy and lose their minds. These blood race experts come from low-level races. Their intelligence was limited from the start and after being affected by that bloody chi, their heads go blank, and all they know is to kill. You can't judge them like how you judge humans. Right now, they're just murderous beasts in human-like form. They might even be crazier than magical beasts. They've already lost their sense of self, and only death can make them stop, explained Li Jing. Of everyone present, no one knew more about the blood race than Li Jing. Whenever a new sub-race appeared, she would instantly explain their strengths and weaknesses, as well as the best way to handle them. She had been very useful. So that's the case. I was scared, thinking that there were warriors even braver than the dragon blood warriors Gu Yang breathed out in relief. This explanation put him at ease. He had been shocked by the blood race's bravery, but if they were just brainless maniacs, then there was nothing curious about it. The dragon blood warriors are true warriors. One of the Empyreans in the Bidang family couldn't help sighing. If it was a one against one fight, I'd be confident in being able to defeat them. However, if I were to fight on this battlefield, I wouldn't be able to last so long. This Empyrean had already awoken his manifestation and was one of Bidang Rushuang's eight great bodyguards. He was extremely powerful and had quite the reputation within the Bidang family. However, he couldn't help but to praise the dragon blood warriors. This showed him that true experts always needed to sense what areas they were lacking in. Bidang Rushuang nodded. You're the only one here who dares to admit that you might be inferior to others. Just that is enough to allow you to walk much further the Empyrean side. Compared to the dragon blood warriors, those of us who were blessed with the support of the Bidang family are far more fortunate. Without the Bidang family, there is no way we would have reached our current level, but they managed to reach their level by putting their lives on the line over and over again. They had to have experienced unimaginable pain to reach this level. That's why their wills are far tougher than ours. We were too blessed. Just thinking about it makes me feel ashamed. The Bidang family gave us such good conditions, and we ended up like this. Brothers, our environment was many times better than theirs, and yet we've been surpassed. How can that be justified? The Empyrean looked back at the other disciples of the Bidang family. Those disciples instantly looked down in shame. If even he could admit that he was inferior, then the rest of them were far from being able to match them. Senior apprentice brother and you Oli, we'll definitely work hard. We won't be inferior to anyone, shouted a disciple. Seeing the dragon blood warrior's shocking combat power, their own pride was excited. Work hard, and you Oli nodded. Work hard. Bidang Rushuang also raised a fist. She looked at the calm Long Chen and made a solemn vow. Working hard is correct, but the direction must be right. If you were to seize him, then the dragon blood legion would be your family. Wouldn't that be much more efficient than any effort on your own? 
The Bidang family's old family head whispered into Bidang Rushuang's ear with a mischievous smile. Grandma Bidang Rushuang blushed. Girl, don't shout. Your grandma's vision is definitely correct. Don't you see the girl from the Nangong family also whispering? They definitely have their sights on Long Chen as well. Let me tell you, if you let her seize him first, don't come crying to me, said the old family head. Bidang Rushuang looked toward the Nangong family. There were several elders whispering with Nangong Zuayu, occasionally glancing toward Long Chen. Chapter 2243 Limit Compared to the Dragonblood Warriors Our Nangong disciples are greenhouse flowers. They're still children. Us old fellows were too obstinate the elders of the Nangong family were gathered together, sighing. When it came to talent, the disciples of the Nangong family were definitely much better than the Dragonblood Warriors. When it came to resources, it was unknown just how far behind the Nangong family through Long Chen. Now the difference was shown. This was the result of tempering through true battle. Although they had also tempered their disciples, those were simply trials. The danger was always under control. Contrary to them, the Dragonblood Legion had fought in life and death battles countless times. There had been no guarantee of their lives. They could only risk their lives, and in the process, comprehend the true essence of the Martial Dao. Even if the Nangong family's experts were slightly stronger than the Dragonblood Warriors, they would still die if they battled. The Dragonblood Warriors' conviction in victory was too terrifying. Even surrounded by this endless army of the blood race, where a single mistake spelled death, they still looked relaxed. How was that possible? Because they had absolute confidence that they wouldn't make any mistakes. To walk through the cracks of danger, to wave their hands and turn crisis into fortune, it made everyone reflect on something. The Nangong family's elders began to examine themselves. It went without saying that the Nangong family's elders possessed greater wisdom than some. When they encountered a problem, they considered themselves first. Unlike certain people who only knew how to complain and push the responsibility onto others, you can't put it like that. Everyone has their own path. Some people want to instantly soar, and others want to slowly build a foundation that matures. In the end, the results are what matters. The Dragonblood Warrior's path doesn't necessarily suit other people, and envying them is meaningless. You just need to look at your own path and decide if it's right for you, said Nangong Zuayu. Zuayu is correct. The Nangong family's teachings are not focused on such ferociousness. We cannot imitate that aspect, said an elder in grey robes. This elder was the current head of the Nangong family, Nangong Yunshin. The comical thing was that his seniority wasn't actually very high. He had been an up-and-coming youngster, and calculating the generations. He would technically be Nangong Zuayu's junior, but because he was the family head, the two of them called each other equally. Just at this moment, a new sub-race of the blood race appeared. They were exceptionally large and muscular. Even their hands and feet were thick, and they held giant hammers in their hands. This is the behemoth blood race. They're a mid-ranking race with immense power. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, your warriors have to be careful. Li Jing let out a startled cry. When those behemoth blood experts smashed their hammers at the Dragonblood Warriors, the Dragonblood Warriors' sword slashed out. Sparks flew. The Dragonblood Warriors were knocked back several steps, while the behemoth blood experts were sent flying, their hammers escaping their hold. The Dragonblood Warriors' attack was unable to kill the behemoth blood experts in one blow, and it had to be known that they weren't holding back. Even Nether Passage Realm Behemoth Blood Experts can be stopped. Li Jing covered her mouth with both hands, completely shocked. Just how powerful were the Dragonblood Warriors? The Behemoth Blood Race was a mid-ranking race amongst the Blood Race and said to be the core of the Blood Race's forces. Furthermore, some of them were in the Nether Passage Realm. The arrival of the Behemoth Blood Experts caused the Dragonblood Warriors to no longer remain so indifferent. They gradually became unable to keep up with their numbers. Boom. One of the Dragonblood Warriors was suddenly surrounded by over ten of the Behemoth Blood experts, causing startled cries to ring out. In that situation, he should definitely die. Surprisingly though, the Dragonblood Warrior used his fist to receive one of the hammers, causing it to miss. In exchange, that arm was completely deformed, with even his bone sticking out. 
Taking advantage of that slight moment, he used his sword to cut off the attacker's head. As for the hammer he had forced into a deviated trajectory, it blocked the attacks of several others. In that chaotic mess, the dragon blood warrior's sword flashed. He killed seven of the behemoth blood experts in an instant, with seven of them dead. He won a chance to breathe. His deformed arm was already healed, and he then grabbed a hammer, smashing it into his enemies. He proceeded to cut down the owners of those hammers, racking up a high kill count. His movements flowed perfectly, from his pulling back, to using their own force, to counter-attacking. It was perfect yet also incredibly dangerous. With so many of the behemoth blood experts attacking, the dragon blood warriors were surrounded by danger. However, they continued fighting, cutting down their enemies. The way they fought made others exclaim in praise. The warm-up is over. The battle is finally starting. Gu Yang clenched his fists excitedly. He was itching to join in. The warm-up Li Jing was speechless. This terrifying battle was just a warm-up in the Dragon Blood Warrior's eyes? That was absolutely monstrous. Senior Apprentice Brother Long Chen, are you not going to join in? Everyone around her laughed. One of the female healing warriors said, Little sister, you're underestimating the Dragon Blood Warriors. If they couldn't even handle these little fish, would they dare to call themselves Dragon Blood Warriors but... Li Jing looked at the Dragon Blood Warriors. Injuries were rapidly appearing, and they had clearly reached their limit. It didn't look at all like they were acting. It's fine. Just keep watching. Comforted that healing warrior. Even as they spoke, the Dragon Blood Warriors continued to be pressured. More and more of the behemoth blood experts appeared. The ones in the Nether Passage realm in particular were extremely dangerous. Occasionally, the Dragon Blood Warriors would cough up blood but they didn't retreat. Even in such desperate straits, they were constantly looking for opportunities to counterattack. I understand now why the Dragon Blood Warriors are so powerful. Even when facing death, their Dao hearts are firm. There isn't the slightest fear in their hearts, exclaimed one of the righteous experts. For them, just watching already made their hearts tighten. The Dragon Blood Warriors might die at any moment, but the Dragon Blood Warriors were calmer than them. They weren't panicking in the slightest. Even in such a situation, they were always able to find the best way to counterattack and resolve their predicaments. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen is treating this battle as a trial. That's monstrous. Just watching this battle was a trial. As for actually being in it, that was crazy. This was a real battle. While in a trial, you could always be saved. Here, dead was dead. They bring out their lives for training. So no wonder they're so terrifying. Every bit of the Dragon Blood Legion's reputation is backed by true power. A person's potential is limitless. It just depends on whether you can force it out or not. The Dragon Blood Warriors are monsters. This definitely isn't the first time they've done this. For a moment, the Righteous Paths experts could only sigh in amazement. This battle shook their hearts. It was truly a dance upon the tip of a blade. The slightest carelessness could cost lives. The experts of the other powers were also pointing and discussing amongst themselves. The elders were clearly using this as a lesson for their disciples. Only the corrupt path's disciples were watching in trepidation. In the corrupt path, all the living disciples were survivors of cruel and miserable trials. But even they shivered in the face of this terrifying blood race army. Their viciousness was an act for others to see so that those people would fear them. But the Dragon Blood Legion's viciousness was a part of them. They were vicious to their enemies and even more vicious to themselves. One of the Dragon Blood Warriors had half their body smashed to pulp by one of the Behemoth Blood experts. But Long Chen and the others still didn't move. As a result, that Dragon Blood Warrior bitterly held on for several breaths time before finding a chance to kill two of the Behemoth Blood experts and healing. Absolutely vicious. Cold sweat dripped down people's backs. That dragon blood warrior's life had been hanging by a string. But Long Chen and the others had just watched. They have no choice but to be vicious. This time, Long Chen could have helped him. But who would help him next time? Mo Nian finally broke his silence. If a person refuses to work, no one can help them. Long Chen can only give them an environment. But to become a true expert they need to rely on themselves. That's true of both the Dragon Blood Warriors as well as Long Chen. 
They understand their position and are all risking their lives. Actually, life is like this. The greater your goal, the more challenges you'll encounter. If your goal is only to be a normal person, you'll only need to experience the struggles of a normal person. If you want to become a god, then you'll need to go through trials on the level of a god. Every person has to pay a price for whatever aspirations they have. Hearing Mo Nyan's words, everyone fell silent, mulling over what he had said. They looked at the dragon blood warriors surrounded by the behemoth blood experts. They were like tiny boats floating on top of a raging sea, looking like they might collapse at any moment. But the dragon blood warriors still looked determined. This scene touched the deepest parts of people's hearts. Time passed bit by bit. When the sun once more rose in the sky, it meant that it had been a full day and night since the battle had started. The dragon blood warriors had brushed past death countless times during these hours. In the end, they managed to survive. However, as time passed, their power began to wane. Even though they were still fighting valiantly, they were weary. This is about the limit. Guo Ran, give the order. Long Chen suddenly spoke. Chapter 2244 Grand Formation Activated Form The Formation Guo Ran's shout rang throughout the battlefield. The Dragon Blood Warriors heard it, and light suddenly blazed out of their bodies. They still have more power. People were startled by this sudden burst of power. Hadn't they already run out of energy? In truth, they were right. The Dragon Blood Warriors had truly reached their limits. The light flowing out of their bodies came from the armor that Guo Ran had made for them. With the armor covering their bodies, the Dragon Blood Warriors were refreshed. Their almost exhausted spiritual Yuan slowly began to recover. Last time, in the Qi Flow battle, the Dragon Blood Warriors had been facing the experts of the various powers. Toward the end, they had run out of energy that had made Guo Ran see a dangerous scenario. If more experts had attacked at that time, the Dragon Blood Legion would have been in danger. After that battle, Guo Ran had modified the armor once more, embedding a thousand energy storage runes throughout each of them. This way, the Dragon Blood Warriors could store their spiritual Yuan inside their armor and draw it out during times of crisis. The thousand energy storage runes roughly allowed each Dragon Blood Warrior to store almost half their normal spiritual Yuan. That stored spiritual Yuan could save their lives during a critical moment. The Dragon Blood Warriors were now extracting a portion of that stored spiritual Yuan, nourishing their almost exhausted bodies. The Dragon Blood Warriors gathered into a circular formation. In that instant, they became like an iron block. Their formation spun, tearing through the Blood Race's army. In a formation, the Dragon Blood Warriors no longer felt any danger. Their power was linked and they were like a machine of flesh. They slowly retreated. The stored spiritual Yuan in the armor could not be wasted. Storing the energy took time and used up ten times the amount of energy of what was stored. It took a full month to max them out. That stored spiritual Yuan was a trump card that shouldn't be used lightly. Just now, they had only used a little bit, but the dragon blood warriors were aggrieved over it. As soon as they finished the formation, they retreated. Lu Ruian's huge body rose from the ground, countless roots pulling her forward. The endless army of the blood race was suppressed by her. The dragon blood warriors retreated, while Lu Ruian advanced. The two of them switched positions. Pillars of light spread out of the ground, forming a ring of light. Countless swords shot out of that ring of light, tearing through the blood race's army. Those in the life star realm directly exploded upon contact. Even those from stronger races would only be able to block a maximum of three swords before being killed. What a powerful formation the sight of those thousands of swords flying made the spectators jump. I've long heard of a terrifying formation master within the Dragon Blood Legion. Such a terrifying killing formation must have a ridiculous price. They won't be able to keep it up for long. The stronger the formation, the greater the price of keeping it active. A killing formation of such power covering such an area had to exhaust an unimaginable amount of resources for each second it was active. Formation masters had gradually declined. Legend had it that formation masters were one of the most terrifying existences back in ancient times. As long as they had enough resources, they could slay gods and devils. They could flip the entire world. The position of formation masters was even greater than alchemists. Unfortunately. 
This was a declined era with few resources. Most formation masters starved to death because they didn't have the resources to raise themselves. The formation masters on the continent now were nothing more than artisans working to make a meager living. Most formation masters were forced to take up a second profession just to pay for their own resources. No one would deny that formation masters could be terrifying, but the prerequisite was that they had enough resources. If they didn't, then they were cooks without tools or ingredients. How would they cook? So the profession of formation masters had declined to the point that no one outstanding in this field had appeared in the past tens of thousands of years. As for the formations of the large sects, they were things left behind from the ancient era. As long as they were careful and avoided large-scale battles, their formations could remain in good condition without a formation master. That was why currently, formation masters weren't treated as important by the large powers. They could always use their old formations. Now though, just the slightest revelation of Xia Chen's skills stunned everyone. The formation continued, annihilating the incoming army of the blood race. They were unable to charge over. Xia Chen formed hand seals, and a whirlpool image appeared on the ground. The spiritual chi of the world crazily condensed there. What a terrifying spirit gathering formation feeling the spiritual chi of heaven and earth being sucked away. People's expressions changed. Spirit gathering formations were one of the most common formations. Everyone had one. But this spirit gathering formation of Xia Chen's was incredibly powerful. So powerful that it even made the heavenly deos twist. Even those from Pill Valley, the corrupt path, and the others were amazed. The effect of this formation was a hundred times greater than their own spirit gathering formations. No wonder the Dragonblood Legion's growth is so terrifying. They have such a powerful formation master. Any problems can be resolved easily. I heard that Long Chen is also an amazing alchemy master, with rumors saying that his alchemy arts are not inferior to the Pill Fairies. A pinnacle alchemist plus a pinnacle formation master are the greatest support of the Dragonblood Legion. No matter how great Long Chen's alchemy arts are, he's just one person. There's no way he can refine enough pills for such a large legion. I heard his medicinal pills are mostly from the Huai insect. Have you forgotten how Long Chen stuffed himself with barrels of medicinal pills during the Qi flow eruption? In other words, the support of the Dragonblood Legion is the Huai insect from behind the scenes? No wonder they have such wealth. The Huai insect was said to be the richest sect on the Martial Heaven continent. They had been competing with Pill Valley from the start. However, they were much more low-key and rarely interfered in matters of the cultivation world. People usually forgot about their power. Now that someone mentioned them, they all came to a sudden understanding. It seemed that the Dragonblood Legion's money came from the Huai insect, as expected of the most successful businessmen. If you invest in objects, the profit will be limited. But if you invest in people, well, once Long Chen becomes ruler of the world, the profits would be endless Long Chen was famed for being ruthless with his vengeance, but also for repaying people who helped him. The Zhuangshan Dao sect, the heaven-splitting battle sect, and the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race were the best examples. They helped Long Chen, and Long Chen viewed them as family. He would risk his life to protect them. Those three powers had declined to a miserable point before he had gone to them. The cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow race in particular had been hunted down almost to extinction. Now, the three powers stood at the top of the world's rankings. That was payback. Swords continued to fly out of the formation, slaughtering the army of the blood race. Corpses piled up rapidly. At the front, willow leaves slashed like swords, and giant roots attacked like dragons. They devoured the majority of the blood race's experts. In front of Luruian. They were simply food. That made quite a few people jealous. All the essence blood of those experts would go to the Dragonblood Legion. Seeing the corpses on the ground slowly wither until they were desiccated, it was obvious that Long Chen was gathering their essence blood. The blood race's essence blood contained the essence of ancient times. Although their bloodlines were no longer pure, their essence blood could still be refined into immemorial essence blood. That immemorial essence blood was a priceless treasure to those who hadn't awakened their spirit blood yet. No amount of money was able to buy it. Such essence blood could only be refined from the blood race's experts. 
and although they had been killed before in past dark eras, the immemorial essence blood refined from them was always immediately used by the experts of that time. Very little had been saved. After all, that was how they had strengthened the side of the continent and prevented more people from being killed. If everyone was killed, then saving it wouldn't have any use. Those corpses were treasures, and all of them now belonged to the Dragonblood Legion. The divine families really are biased. Why should Long Chen get all the benefits? Grumbled one of the Xuan beasts. Peng Wanli's expression changed upon hearing that, and as expected, the elders of the outer branches glared at him. One of them coldly stated, If you feel it's unfair, then after the three days are up, how about we allow the Xuan beasts to defend this area on your own for three days? These members of the outer branches were already holding back their anger from what had just happened with their trick being exposed. Adding on having to watch as the Dragonblood Legion simply activated a formation and comfortably sat back gathering the essence blood. They were driven crazy with jealousy and rage. As for the heads of the Xuan beasts, they were definitely not too bright to say that the divine families were biased. That one person had ended up provoking these old fellows. Peng Wanli didn't give that person a chance to respond. He directly slammed his hand through that person's head, killing him. The divine families have always been fair. My teachings haven't been enough unfortunately. Please forgive me. Pen Wanli cupped his fists. He was not Long Chen. He didn't want to draw the ire of the outer branches. In the future, they might make things hard on him. These old fellows were clearly idiots used to being treated like princes, when in reality they were nothing more than dogs. Provoking them didn't bring him any benefits. After Pen Wanli killed that person, the speaker from the outer branches snorted and didn't say any more. Suddenly, a heaven-shaking roar came from within the yin-yang world. The earth trembled and giant figures appeared. Chapter 2245 Explosive Blood Bull Monsters from the Depths of the Yin-Yang World One mountain-sized figure after another appeared. They were monsters with the head of a bull and bodies covered in black chi. They were like devils crawling out of hell. Bull-headed devils. Long Chen was startled. He recognized this monster. Back in the Yin-Yang world when Yi Lingxian had accidentally slipped into an underground trial. She had found a fragment of the Eastern Wasteland Bell. Taking it had drawn the ire of these bull-headed devils, and they had almost killed the two of them. In the end, they had been forced to draw them into a killing formation, but even that killing formation hadn't managed to kill them. Instead, they had wrecked the formation, allowing Long Chen to grab the precious medicinal ingredients lying behind the formation. They're also part of the blood race, asked Gu Yang. No, they aren't. They're a kind of magical beast domesticated by the blood race. They are called explosive blood bull monsters. They have immense power and also terrifying defenses. Even divine items have trouble injuring them. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen. Although these explosive blood bull monsters have auras similar to early nether passage experts. Due to their offensive and defensive powers. They can match third step nether passage experts. This is most likely the blood race's counterplay to our formation. They want to use the explosive blood bull monsters to break it, warned Li Jing, her voice shuddering slightly from nervousness. The explosive blood bull monsters were quite famous in her history records. They had been the nightmare of the human race. The blood race had used them to trample their protective formations. Normally, this kind of card would only be used toward the latter stages of the battle but it was currently just the start of the second day, and they had appeared. That was not in accordance with past records Novaloon.com These explosive blood bull monsters are very powerful. When I was in the soul transformation realm, I was unable to do anything to them, said Long Chen. In other words, their physical bodies are very powerful. Right. Wild, who had been snoozing, suddenly stood up. Yes, but I don't know if you can eat it, said Long Chen. Knowing what Wilde was thinking, I'll go try. Wilde didn't wait for anyone else to say anything and charged out with his bone club. His body suddenly grew, transforming into a 300-meter giant. Wilde blasted through many of the blood race's experts. He was like an arrow piercing through their midst. One of the explosive blood bull monsters roared at Wilde and stamped a foot at him. Boom. Wilde's body flashed and he dodged. 
This stamp of its foot unleashed a shockwave that blew away the surrounding experts of the blood race. After dodging its attack, Wilde grabbed onto its leg and bit down. Although Wilde was now a 300-meter giant, he was still tiny compared to the explosive blood bull monsters. He barely reached the top of its hoof. As a result, he bit down at the flesh right above the hoof. Blood splashed. What shocked people was that a giant chunk of meat was torn out of the explosive blood bull monster. Wilde's teeth were even sharper than a divine item. The explosive blood bull monster jumped up, letting out a shriek. This one bite from Wilde filled it with pain. Big Brother Long, I can eat it. Wilde's garbled voice rang out as he tried to talk through a mouth of meat. He sounded happy. Then go ahead and eat it. Long Chen couldn't help having an odd expression. Wilde's teeth and appetite were exceptional. Wilde was eating its hair and hide along with the meat. Just watching made Long Chen's throat feel itchy and uncomfortable. But Wilde seemed to find it flavorful. Wilde had never been picky about taste. He liked things with strong blood and flesh. The stronger the better. To use Wilde's words, chewy meat was the best. Meat that lacked power was like cotton. It didn't taste good. And it didn't fill his stomach. Boom. The explosive blood bull monster stamped its foot once more, roaring furiously. Wilde was forced back, and he roared, his body once more growing until he became a towering figure as big as the explosive blood bull monster. How? How is that possible? Is he a human or a monster? Although Wilde had once fought as a 300-meter giant, now he was many times larger. Shocking people. Did the human race really possess such a divine ability? Wilde's bone club grew with him, and he smashed the head of the explosive blood bull monster. It died without even making a grunt. After killing it, Wilde didn't even wait for its corpse to fall. He grabbed it, and a bracelet on his wrist lit up. The explosive blood bull monster shrank until it was the size of his palm. This bracelet was something that Guo Ran had specially made for Wilde since Wilde didn't know how to use magical arts. Giant corpses could be compressed with spatial energy thanks to this bracelet which helped out Wilde. With just a thought, Wilde could shrink and suck his prey into the bracelet. The shrunken explosive blood bull monster was tossed into Wilde's mouth. He bit down fiercely, and there was a sound like an exploding meatball that made Long Chen and the others get goosebumps. As for the other experts, their hair stood on end. Just where had Long Chen found this human-shaped monster? As Wilde chewed. He didn't stop. His bone club swung toward another explosive blood bull monster, killing it. Wilde's bone club was a priceless treasure that happened to suit his particularities. It was extremely hard and heavy. Even the explosive blood bull monster couldn't endure a strike from it. After killing his second explosive blood bull monster, without even thinking about it, he tossed it into his mouth and continued looking for his next target. Wilde can get this big? That's really frightening Men Chi stared in shock. Long Chen explained. Wilde has said that 300 meters is the best option for him normally. That size keeps his exhaustion low and he can fight for a long time like that. The larger he grows, the greater the exhaustion. That's why he normally stays at 300 meters when fighting. But after testing the power of the explosive blood bull monster, he must have felt that he needed to get bigger. He can probably consume them to replenish the energy he's using. Everyone watched as Wilde began blasting through the battlefield. The explosive blood bull monsters were killed one by one, each of them only requiring a single swing of his club. This giant battlefield had become Wilde's hunting pasture. That scene was hair-raising. Just who is the invader? Seeing Wilde slaughtering the explosive blood bull monsters and blasting any of the blood races experts in his way. People couldn't believe their eyes. That big fellow is from the legendary barbarian race. To be able to grow to such a size, he has to come from a high-ranking race. Maybe even a king race amongst the barbarian race. The Nangong family's old head stared. Her eyes twinkled with an ancient light. Wasn't it said that the barbarian race went extinct in the battle from back then? How could such an existence appear on the martial heaven continent asked Bidang Rushuang. Who can say for sure what happened? That happened so long ago. No one knows what's true or false. I say, this isn't important. What's important is for you to capture Long Chen first. Then all of this will be yours. The old family head pressed her, making Bidang Rushuang roll her eyes. 
This grandmother of hers really had fallen for Long Chen. She had to have Bidang Rushuang pull him in. Even though Wild was killing the explosive blood bull monsters rapidly, there were too many of them, and quite a few still managed to get by. Their huge bodies charged toward Xia Chen's formation. The swords shooting out of the formation were only able to cause some cuts on their giant bodies. They weren't fatal. Once too many of the explosive blood bull monsters managed to reach the formation, there would be danger of the entire formation crumbling. Lu Ruian's attacks were still extremely sharp against the blood race's experts, but the explosive blood bull monsters were too powerful for her to kill easily. Her efficiency against them was inferior to Wild who was killing them one swing at a time. Guo Ran took out his blood-colored crossbow, but before he could shoot, Gu Yang actually said, How could we ask Boss Guo Ran to handle such a minor matter? It would be better for this junior brother to handle it. Gu Yang and the others had long since been envious of Guo Ran's crossbow. They knew how to shoot it, but his arrows were too precious for them to play around with. They knew how to use the crossbow, but there couldn't be the slightest deviation, or they wouldn't even be able to hit a hair on their enemies at long range. At this time though, the explosive blood bull monsters were near, and their bodies were huge. As long as you weren't blind, you would be able to hit them. Gu Yang suddenly wanted to try it. Naturally, if he wanted to borrow the crossbow, he had to say some nice words. Guo Ran was delighted to the point that he couldn't stop grinning. He happily gave Gu Yang his crossbow to try out. A blood-colored arrow shot out, piercing through one of the explosive blood bull monster's mouths and going out of the back of its head. A large hole appeared, and with a wail, it fell to the ground. Gu Yang continued to shoot. The explosive blood bull monsters had giant heads and as long as he struck them anywhere on their heads, they would be killed. Damn, this is amazing. Gu Yang laughed as he shot. With just the flick of his finger, he was killing the explosive blood bull monsters. That feeling was truly refreshing. Stop messing around. Prepare for an extended battle. The real experts have come. Long Chen suddenly let out a serious shout. His gaze on the blood race's army. Chapter 2246 Source of Calamity Gu Yang and the others were startled. Looking over, they saw that the blood race's army was no longer blindly charging forward. They had started to form up. They were too far for them to see exactly what they were doing. But an aura that made people tremble began to spread across the battlefield. Lu Ruian and Wild were both called back. The explosive blood bull monsters also stopped charging forward. They retreated, joining back with the blood race's army. This is the real start of our battle, said Long Chen. We're more than prepared. No matter how many of them come, they won't be able to get by, said Guo Ran confidently. Don't be careless. The grand formation costs a great deal to keep up. We can't rely on it as it's only been one day. The next two days are sure to be a fierce battle. We have to maintain as many trump cards as we can to avoid the worst case scenario, warned Long Chen. Yes, I can see what seems to be high ranking races amongst the blood race. The commanders of their army have probably come. The low ranking races are brainless and aren't frightening, but the high ranking races are not at all dumber than our human race. They are extremely talented and can be likened to our Empyreans. Within the same realm, there is a huge difference in combat power between the low and high ranking races, added Li Jing. Rumbling rang out. Thousands of the explosive blood bull monsters joined forces to pull a giant war chariot. As the war chariot rolled across the earth, the world shuddered. What is that? That enormous chariot made everyone jump. That's, that's the blood race's siege war chariot. Even a fourth step nether passage expert isn't able to receive an attack from it. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, we can't hold any longer. Li Jing turned pale with terror. The war chariot was so massive that clouds covered the top of it. Even the enormous explosive blood bull monsters appeared small in front of it. The war chariot had a giant cannon on it. It was pitch black, and looking at it, it was like a fiend was looking back. When the cannon came out of the entrance to the Yun Yang world, Long Chen and the other's hair stood on end. Commander. The blood race is actually using their siege war chariot. That's something that can threaten the lives of fourth step nether passage experts. There's no way that the dragon blood legion can block it. We have to go out, in the distance. 
Shen Chen Feng's Legian's expressions changed upon seeing the chariot. Shen Chen Feng's expression was grave. They're using the siege war chariot so soon. The blood race must have been preparing for a long time. The siege war chariot had appeared several times throughout history. However, every time, it would appear during a critical moment that affected the life and death of the blood race. Creating such a chariot required an unimaginable amount of manpower. Even the blood race needed hundreds of years to create one. The sovereign seal had broken, but the remnant sovereign aura prevented fourth step nether passage experts from passing. Thus, they actually sent out the siege war chariot. The siege war chariot's cannon could destroy all life within this area. Even a fourth step nether passage expert would be killed if struck directly. How could they ask Long Chen and the others to block such a terrifying chariot? Shen Chen Feng was caught in a hard spot. If he took action, that would be announcing that Long Chen had failed, and all his previous efforts would have been for nothing. The higher-ups have clearly underestimated the power of the blood race. For them to use the siege war chariot right at the start, this dark era will probably be an unprecedentedly bloody battle, said Shen Cheng Feng. Commander, are we going? Shen Cheng Feng pondered it and ordered, prepare the divine crossbow. If the dragon blood legion cannot hold, immediately shoot. His orders were immediately carried out. Shen Chen Feng looked at the distant Long Chen and muttered to himself, Long Chen, I can't blame you for not being strong enough. I can only blame you for being too unlucky. That siege war chariot is a powerful weapon that only a few people can block. In Shen Chen Feng's opinion, Long Chen definitely wouldn't be able to stop it. Once his formation was broken, it would signify his failure and Shen Chen Feng would take action. He couldn't allow the blood race to charge onto the continent. That was the order that Elder Long had given him. Just as Shen Chen Feng was preparing to stop it, Long Chen looked at Guo Ran. That thing's pretty tough. Can you handle it? I can't make any guarantees. I'll test it out. Guo Ran had never been more serious. Summoning his blood red armor, he spread his wings and flew out instantly crossing the battlefield and reaching the siege war chariot. Boss, this thing's attacking. You cannot allow it to strike the formation, or it will break, shouted Xia Chen. Although he had never seen this chariot's power before, after working together with Guo Ran for so long, he could make a general estimate. Boom. Suddenly, a powerful explosion shook the land. Guo Ran had shot an arrow into the cannon. It had exploded inside it. Unleashing a wave of fire. Did he succeed? Shouted Gu Yang. No, it was a failure. Sniper apprentice brother Guo Ran wanted to use the arrow to blow up the cannon. If that had worked, then the entire siege war chariot would have been blown to bits, said Li Jing. Suddenly, the siege war chariot stopped and began to shine. The explosive blood bull monsters knelt on the ground. Boom. The world shuddered. A huge flame sphere shot out like a star at the Dragon Blood Legion. Space exploded in the midst of that flame sphere. The rumbling tore apart the void, and a sensation of death enveloped the hearts of everyone present. This was a truly world destroying blow. Ku Jinying and the others' expressions completely changed. This attack was absolutely terrifying. They were all worried that Long Chen couldn't block it. Xia Chen formed hand seals, and runes lit up on the ground. One light barrier after another appeared. A total of 99 of them condensed in an instant. The flame sphere blasted through the light barriers. However, the light barriers were tough and even had a reflective effect. As the flame sphere blasted through them, its own power began to dissipate into the air. Finally, after blasting through 80 barriers, its momentum faded enough that it rebounded off the next barrier. The flame sphere was deformed from the rebound and the energy inside had lost its balance. It flew in a certain direction. Startled cries rang out from Pill Valley, the Corrupt Path, the Ancient Family Alliance, and the Xuan Beast's experts. That flame sphere was coincidentally flying straight toward them after being rebounded. Run. Cries rang out. There's no time. Block it. Yu Ziaoyan was the first to take action. The Day-Night Furnace flew out, unleashing divine light. Zi Wentian. Di Long, Pen Wanli, Long Jun Kang, and Zhang Ziyang took out their divine items, blocking with all their power. Boom. It was like the explosion of a star. A terrifying energy unleashed a terrifying mushroom cloud in the sky. Meanwhile, 
astral winds raged on the ground, turning mountains to dust. However, it went without saying that Yu Ziaoyan and the others were worthy of being the leaders of their respective powers. Their combined forces had managed to block this attack. After blocking it, Zhang Ziyang coughed up a mouthful of blood. The divine item that he had taken out was a blood-colored sword. This sword was known as the Killing Sword and was the Blood Kill Hall's inherited divine item. But it was not their number one divine item. The number one divine item, the Cruel Dagger, was in Dong Mingyu's hands. When she had betrayed the Blood Kill Hall, she had taken the Cruel Dagger with her. Taking the number one divine item and having Long Chen remove the restrictions of her god seed had caused the Blood Kill Hall's faith energy to diminish immensely. That meant that the Killing Sword's power had also sharply dropped, which caused Zhang Ziyang to be injured and increased the pressure on the others. Long Zhang Kang, who was the weakest of the rest of them, also almost coughed up blood, but he forcibly swallowed it down so as to not embarrass himself. That bastard Long Chen, he definitely did that on purpose. D Long ground his teeth. Watch out, another one's coming, Long Zhang Kang shouted. They had barely managed to block the first attack, and their disciples were still in a panic when another giant flame sphere came shooting over at them. A second siege war chariot had appeared and had shot after the first one. Xia Chen had controlled the formation to send it flying again. Block it, roared Yu Ziaoyan. Divine light once more erupted from their divine items. Boom. It was another intense collision, but this time Zhang Ziyang was no longer alone. Everyone other than Yu Ziaoyan coughed up blood together. That bastard Long Chen, he's trying to kill us, roared Long Zhang Kang. One time was a coincidence that could be brushed off, but twice? That was clearly intentional. Hu Jinying and the others were also startled. Long Chen was actually using such a method? Pill Valley, the Corrupt Path, the Xuan Beasts, the Ancient Family Alliance, and the Blood Kill Hall's people were all standing together. Long Chen was actually conning them like this. However, to be able to shift the attack of the siege war chariot so accurately, that sparked some disbelief. This is a coincidence. Understand? A coincidence. Oh no, not good. Xia Chen was shouting an explanation when another flame sphere shot over, smashing into the defenses of his formation. As a result, the flame sphere was once more sent flying toward Yu Ziaoyan and the others enraging them. Boom. Yu Ziyan and the others joined forces again to block, and this time, Yu Ziyan was also unable to stop himself from joining the ranks of those coughing up blood. Retreat. Yu Ziyan immediately gave the order to retreat after this attack. They not only retreated, but they even changed angles so that they wouldn't be in the path of the rebounding flame sphere. As a result, just as they moved to a spot where they felt that they would be safe, Xia Chen's startled cry rang out. Watch out. The flame sphere is heading toward you. Chapter 2247 Bombardment following Xia Chen's shout. Another giant flame sphere shot toward Yu Ziaoyan and the others, making them crazy. They wanted to dodge, but they couldn't. If they did, then their disciples would be doomed, so they could only block. Boom. Another explosion rang out. Even with those almighty experts joining forces with divine items, they wretchedly coughed up blood. This was an attack capable of threatening fourth step nether passage experts, while they were only at the third step. If they didn't have powerful divine items, they would have died. Intolerable bullying. Various experts cursed. This was clearly Xia Chen sending those attacks their way. Are the divine races not going to do anything? You're just going to allow the Dragonblood Legion to kill us. Yu Ziaoyan finally couldn't bear it any longer. The elders of the outer branches were about to say something when Long Chen said, Do you feel like it's possible for us to do such a thing? How about you try it? Xia Chen's control over his formation had reached a perfect level. No one could imitate him. The money that Long Chen had thrown in had not been spent for nothing. Xia Chen was now an unparalleled formation master in this world. No one would dare to say that they were superior to Xia Chen in this regard. Or at the very least, no one here could say such a thing. Yu Ziaoyan and the others had nothing to say in response to Long Chen. If he simply refused to admit that it was intentional, there was nothing they could do. After all, there was no proof. Fine. Count yourself vicious. 
Yu Ziaoyan and the others had no choice but to retreat even further. Once they were further away, they would have a choice between blocking it or dodging it. What is going on with Guo Ran? Can he handle it? Xia Chen's expression once more became grave. Although he was able to send these attacks flying away from his formation with the smallest price possible, these attacks were too powerful. His formation wasn't able to do this forever. This formation of his possessed both offensive and defensive powers, but at its core, it was a killing formation. That was because the Dragonblood Legion wanted as much of their essence blood as possible. Their goal wasn't just to accomplish the mission that they had been given. It's not so easy. This siege war chariot's forging principles are completely different from the martial heaven continents. The way the energy explodes is different. Guo Ran will need some time, said Long Chen. Long Chen understood Guo Ran. Although he was normally a fool, when it was time to be serious, he was mostly reliable. If he couldn't find a way to counter the siege war chariots, then no one else would be able to find a way. At this moment, Guo Ran was unleashing a barrage of attacks on the siege war chariot, but whether he attacked the cannon or the chariot, he was unable to cause any real damage, shocking and enraging him. Furthermore, with the blood race and the explosive blood bull monsters on the ground, he couldn't get close to the chariot. Time to go all out. Guo Ran suddenly charged toward the chariot. Inferior human race, you want to touch our siege war chariot? Keep dreaming. As Guo Ran weaved through countless attacks to get closer, a sneer came from within the chariot. A tempest of light arrows exploded out of the chariot, shooting at Guo Ran. Did you think we wouldn't have any defenses? A red-haired man appeared atop the chariot, sneering at Guo Ran disdainfully. Guo Ran clenched his teeth. Instead of dodging, a long horn appeared on his head. Like an arrow, he shot through the tempest of arrows. Rumbling rang out as they crashed into his body. Good thing this armor of mine isn't a waste. Guo Ran laughed wickedly. Although the pounding was making him numb, he was able to endure it. The red-haired man snorted, waving his hand. Dozens of other red-haired men appeared at the same time from within the chariot. The swords in their hands unleashed waves of light at Guo Ran. These experts were all nether passage experts. They were most likely specialized guards for the chariot. You want to fight in close range with me? Do you know how the character for death is written? Guo Ran sneered, his sabers also blazing with light. The red-haired men smiled coldly, clearly understanding what Guo Ran was saying. They attacked at the same time, and shockingly, they used a rarely seen combination art to merge their energy together. Just as they thought that Guo Ran was about to face them head on with his sabers, countless holes appeared on Guo Ran's chest plate. Needles shot out of those holes, as quick as lightning. The needles exploded upon stabbing into the bodies of the red-haired men. They actually had the effect of his exploding arrows, and even these nether passage experts were blown up. The first red-haired man was shocked, and just as he was about to retreat back into the chariot, a streak of light cut off his head. Guo Ran's finger stabbed into his head, his Yuan spirit shattered, and Guo Ran quickly searched through those fragmented memories for what he wanted. Got it. With a delighted cry, Guo Ran's figure flashed across the chariot, dodging the attack of another blood race expert. Guo Ran's saber ruthlessly slashed into the wall of the chariot. Web-like cracks appeared all over the wall. This place was actually the weakest part of the chariot. He had learned quite a few secrets about the siege war chariot from that red-haired man's fragmented memories. Boom. Guo Ran once more struck the wall. And this time, the wall exploded, revealing a large hole. Guo Ran charged through. The inside of the chariot was a maze. But relying on the red-haired man's memories, Guo Ran flew toward the core. Dozens of red-haired men were present in the core, controlling the siege war chariot. Without a word, Guo Ran unleashed his concealed weapons at them. The land quivered as the siege war chariot slowly turned away. Gu Yang and the others were delighted, knowing that Guo Ran had succeeded. Boom. Guo Ran controlled the siege war chariot to shoot at the other siege war chariot. That siege war chariot exploded. Following the first explosion, more explosions rang out as the cannonballs inside it exploded as well. All the blood race experts nearby were blown to smithereens. After destroying that siege war chariot, Guo Ran immediately adjusted the cannon to shoot at another siege war chariot that was frantically moving. 
His second shot struck it, making it explode as well. This is addictive. This is the kind of a toy a man should have. Guo Ran was delighted. Every siege war chariot had ten cannonballs. Those cannonballs would explode when they struck the siege war chariot, and their combined explosive power was apocalyptical. Guo Ran's blood was boiling hot as he watched the destruction he had caused. He was about to aim at his next target when he saw the final siege war chariot's cannon was already aimed at him. His hair instantly stood on end. Not good. Boom. The siege war chariot that Guo Ran was in exploded, and then the cannonballs inside it exploded along with it. Guo Ran, Gu Yang and the others were horrified. It's fine. He's alive, said Long Chen. Guo Ran was standing in the sky, his sabers in his hands. He overlooked the battlefield, looking very calm. In reality, Guo Ran was crazily hacking up blood within his armor. His whole body was covered in cracks. He had just been a bit away from dying. Although he had instantly fled out of the hole in the chariot, the shock waves had almost killed him. Despite having activated his armor's greatest defensive state, he was still a mess. He was covered in cold sweat. Guo Ran was standing there to act profound. However, his body was in such pain that he didn't dare to move. All his energy was focused on preventing his body from falling apart. To the rest of the world. Guo Ran appeared calm and collected as if he completely disdained that siege war chariot's attack. It was the pinnacle of arrogance. After a brief moment of stunned silence, the blood race's experts roared and attacked Guo Ran. Guo Ran still didn't move. Tiny needles shot out of his armor, piercing through their bodies. Anyone whose body was pierced by a needle would explode into bloody mist. Due to how small the needles were, from a great distance, they weren't visible. It simply looked like Guo Ran was standing there, and any of the blood race's experts that approached him would explode upon getting close to him. This time, he's showing off pretty well. There's nothing to say about the details. It's very well done, praised Gu Yang. This kind of silent arrogance was true arrogance. What he didn't know was that at this critical moment, Guo Ran didn't dare to move for fear his body would collapse. He wasn't intentionally showing off. Finally. Guo Ran cracked his neck. He was able to move once more. Boom. Guo Ran suddenly slashed his saber behind him, slicing through a fist of an explosive blood bull monster that had come. Just at that moment, the last siege war chariot aimed at Guo Ran. Just for Guo Ran, it was willing to use up one of its limited attacks. It was clear just how deep their hatred for Guo Ran was. You're still coming. Guo Ran sneered. As the siege war chariot took aim at him, the surrounding blood race experts fled for their lives. On the other hand, Guo Ran calmly took out his crossbow. This time, his arrow had had a silver ball attached to it. Die. Guo Ran shouted and unleashed his arrow, which streaked toward the siege war chariot. Just as the chariot was about to unleash its attack, while the cannonball had yet to come out of the cannon, it was struck by the arrow. Chapter 2248 Killed in One Blow Boom the cannonball exploded inside the cannon and blew apart the siege war chariot. Following that, the cannonballs inside the siege war chariot also exploded, shaking heaven and earth. Flame soared into the sky. The final siege war chariot was destroyed. Guo Ran stood in the sky, looking supreme. The endless flames that were the result of his single arrow gave him a feeling of unrivaled grandeur. Guo Ran, get back. Long Chen suddenly shouted. Guo Ran didn't understand what was happening, but without hesitation, he flew back at his maximum speed. He had just retreated when a hand reached out through the flames, just barely missing Guo Ran. Guo Ran was so terrified that he became covered in cold sweat again. That hand had come without him sensing it at all. If it hadn't been for Long Chen's warning, perhaps he would already be dead. The void split apart, and an elder from the blood race appeared. He was skinny and dried up like firewood. There was a vertical third eye on his forehead. The three eye blood race. Li Jing let out a startled cry. That's a high ranking race. He's definitely a commander. Just at that moment, the elder of the three eye blood race opened its third eye. A blood colored light sword shot toward Guo Ran. Even though Guo Ran was running at maximum speed, that light sword still caught up to him. The crystal clear sound of a sword coming out of its sheath rang out. Sword Chi ripped through the air, striking the light sword. Boom. The light sword exploded from Yu Zifeng's attack. 
saving Guo Ran. However, Yu Zifan turned pale and coughed up a mouthful of blood. A crack appeared on his forehead, and blood dripped out, blocking that attack had come at an immense price. That's a fourth step nether passage expert. Yu Zifeng's gaze was as sharp as a blade as he sized up the three eye blood elder. Yu Zifeng had received a backlash upon striking the elder's attack because his mind was one with his sword. However, no one laughed at him for being injured. They were filled with shock that Yu Zifeng was able to block a full force attack from a fourth step nether passage expert. Probably only a sword cultivator's power would be able to ignore the difference in realms to block such an attack, said Kujinying. The old man nodded. Sword cultivators were miraculous existences. Their attacks often broke the laws of the cultivation world. A fourth step nether passage expert controlled the power of Samsara. That kind of power couldn't be matched even by a third step nether passage expert. I'll go bite him to death. Wilde was very protective of everyone in the Dragonblood Legion, and seeing Yu Zifeng injured, he started pouncing forward, only to be stopped by Long Chen. Wilde, save your energy. If Wilde got angry, he would ignore all else. He didn't know how powerful a fourth step nether passage expert was, and more importantly, Long Chen didn't want him to risk his life. Now wasn't the time for that just yet. The Three Eye Blood Elder was shocked to see his attack blocked. Another light sword shot out of its third eye. This attack was even more powerful than the last. This elder was clearly enraged and was going to make Guo Ran stay behind one way or another. Long Chen stepped forward, Evil Moon in his hand. He had to block this attack, or even if Guo Ran had his armor, his life would be in danger. However, before he could attack, the void trembled. A whirlpool appeared and sucked away the light sword. The elder was suddenly overcome with terror. The light sword actually shot back out of the whirlpool, following its previous trajectory with even greater speed and power. The Three Eye Blood Elder had no chance to dodge and was instantly blown into blood mist. At this time, Guo Ran had finally safely returned to the formation. Seeing the elder be killed in one blow, he was shocked. Just who was capable of killing such a terrifying expert in one blow? Their formation is so powerful? It can even slay fourth step nether passage experts. Everyone's jaws dropped as they stared in disbelief. If that was really true, then wouldn't the Dragonblood Legion be completely unrivaled? That wasn't the power of the formation. The Three Eye Blood Elder's attack triggered the Sovereign's might, and he was killed, explained an extremely old elder who looked to be on the verge of becoming a fossil. That explanation made people feel better. If the Dragonblood Legion really had that kind of ability, that would be too frightening, but the sovereigns are already dead, and the seal is broken. How could it counterattack? Asked one person. HMPH, what do you understand, brat? The sovereigns were supreme existences. Even though the sovereign seal has broken, the remnant sovereign will is enough to easily wipe out fourth step nether passage experts. The sovereigns lived for the martial heaven continent, giving up everything they had, even though they're gone. Their remnant will still protect us. As a person, you must have gratitude and respect. Young people should pay more attention to their words. Without the sovereigns, this world would have been destroyed. You wouldn't even have a chance to spout your careless words, said that elder coldly. Clearly, the elder felt great dislike for that person saying the sovereigns were already dead. That was disrespectful to them. Many of the others also cast gazes dripping with blood at that speaker noveloon.com I was wrong. I shouldn't have blasphemed the sovereigns. That person immediately apologized, giving himself a slap in the face. He was at least smart enough to admit his mistake. If he hadn't, his sect wouldn't protect him. In fact, to appease everyone's anger, they might even offer him up. He could see his sect leader's murderous gaze. Since he apologized. No one bothered with him any longer. After all, a little brat wasn't worth anything. The sovereigns truly were unrivaled existences. Just one seal is enough to protect the continent for tens of thousands of years. And even once the seal is broken, just the remnant will is enough to slay fourth step nether passage experts. In the past, they had heard that sovereigns were unrivaled. But that didn't give them a real idea as to just how strong they were. But now, in their eyes. A fourth step nether passage expert was unrivaled. 
but just the remnant will of a sovereign seal was enough to wipe out this unrivaled existence. Although the sovereigns were unrivaled, they were unable to remain in this world. Not even their pictures remain. We didn't even get a chance to offer up sacrifices to them, said one expert regretfully. Although Sovereign Moli had appeared in front of the Yin Yang world at the end of the last battle, after he was gone, people found that the countless photographic jades they had activated had vanished. Any photographic jade that had recorded the image of the Sovereign had disappeared, and even their image of Sovereign Moli grew blurry. After so many days, they now found that all they could remember was that Sovereign Moli had appeared, while not being able to remember a single feature of his face. Now they understood why there were statues of gods in this world, but no statues of the sovereigns. No one could remember what the sovereigns looked like. The sovereigns had given up everything for the continent, but the ones they had saved didn't even have a chance to worship them. That was why the sovereigns were the most mysterious and supreme existences. People had to feel eternal gratitude and respect for them, a feeling that transcended race. Everyone looked at Long Chen. In this world, the only one who could call a sovereign brother was him. However, he always liked wearing black clothes. If Long Chen wore white, perhaps many people would believe that Sovereign Mo Li had indicated that Long Chen would be the next sovereign. However, this existence that called a sovereign brother always wore black, symbolizing death and slaughter. It was the complete opposite of the white color's purity and rebirth. Even now, People didn't understand why Sovereign Moli would act so close with Long Chen. He didn't have even the slightest mannerisms of a sovereign. If Long Chen had switched to wearing white clothes after that day, perhaps the majority of this world would follow him. Seeing people's glances and private discussion, Hu Jin Ying sighed for Long Chen. Why would others have to wear white just because the sovereigns wore white? If Long Chen switched because of this, he wouldn't be Long Chen. Furthermore, what rule states that sovereigns must wear white? Perhaps the sixth generation sovereign will wear black, retorted the old man. Stubborn donkey. Hu Jin Ying glared at him. This obstinate old man just had to go against what she said all the time. The blood race was thrown into a panic when that three-eyed blood elder died. Their attack came to a stop, and they retreated. Little dogs, don't go. Come fight another 300 rounds with your daddy Guo Guo Ran immediately recovered enough energy to shout arrogantly at them. However, the blood race's experts ignored Guo Ran. They retreated like the tide, leaving behind only countless corpses. How tiring a black robe blew Ru Ai inside. She had been the one to put in the most effort during this fight. She finally had a chance to rest. However, although she was weary, her aura continued to grow sharper. Clearly. Absorbing that much of the blood race's essence blood had increased her power. Furthermore, there was still a great deal of essence blood that she hadn't refined. Is it over? Asked Gu Yang. What do you think? Do you think the Dark Era is a joke? Long Chen shook his head, his expression serious. The enemy has lost their commander. A new commander is coming, and there will definitely be another assault at that time. They've now probed our tactics and strategy. So the next attack will be a thunderous one. Chapter 2249 Blue Ring Blood Race The Blood Race's experts had retreated, and the battlefield was silent. Pill Valley, the ancient races, the Xuan beasts, and the others were a bit jealous now. What if the Blood Race didn't return to attack within the next two days? If the agreed upon time passed, then wouldn't the Dragon Blood Legion have easily accomplished their mission? Novaloon.com Not only could they get the reward promised by the divine families, but all the immemorial essence blood gathered on the battlefield would belong to him. His luck was too good to be true. However, no one dared to say anything. The current Long Chen could no longer be viewed as the little brat they could subdue at any time. He had already grown to the point where the world responded to him. Provoking him now could not possibly bring anything good. The way Xia Chen had reflected the siege war chariot's attacks toward them was still fresh in their memories. They could only pretend to be mute. The dragon blood warriors took advantage of this precious time to recover as much energy as possible. With the help of the spirit gathering formation, their spiritual yuan quickly replenished. In all the fighting, Long Chen had requested that they only used spiritual yuan and not the power of their Yuan spirit or spiritual strength. That was because spiritual Yuan could be quickly restored. 
while the latter two could not. With their great control, the Dragonblood warriors had been able to almost hypnotize themselves, making them forget about the power of their Yuan spirit and spiritual strength. This had brought them to the edge of death. Through this method, they corroborated the understanding of life and death that Lu Ruiyan had displayed to them through her manifestation of the Yun and Yang Dao. Since the blood race had retreated, they could rest and finally look through what they had gained. This also preserved their sharpness for the next wave. The Dragonblood warriors meditated as Xia Chen and Guo Ran got to work. The two of them entered the formation. There was a huge pool of blood gathered now. All the essence blood of the blood race's dead had been gathered during the battle. The blood pool was now half full, emitting ancient and powerful fluctuations. That aura was also violent, which wasn't suitable to be absorbed. This essence blood needed to be refined and purified first. So Guo Ran took out a jade bottle and carefully sucked in the essence blood. Based on the estimate of 10,000 drops of essence blood being able to be refined into one drop of immemorial essence blood, they probably wouldn't have enough. The dragon blood legion was too big. Each person would need at least 10 drops of immemorial essence blood to have the greatest effect. So for over 10,000 dragon blood warriors, they needed over 100,000 drops of immemorial essence blood. That was a frightening number. Immemorial essence blood was so precious that even the four everlasting families didn't have much. They definitely had less than a hundred drops of it. This was why the various powers were so envious. Based on Xia Chen's estimates, this blood pool could be refined into 3,000 drops of immemorial essence blood. The essence blood of the blood race needed to have many of its impurities removed to return to its most primordial state. Those impurities occupied 90% of the essence blood, so 3,000 drops was already an optimistic estimate. It was said that the amount of impurities in the essence blood was related to the strength of the specific sub-race of the blood race. The lower-ranking races had more impurities, while the higher-ranking ones had purer essence blood. 3,000 drops of immemorial essence blood was nothing to the dragon blood legion. Furthermore, this estimate was probably too high as quite a bit of the explosive blood bull monster's essence blood was mixed in as well. Of course, to a different person, these 3,000 drops would be enough wealth to go crazy over. Time passed bit by bit. Even after a full day, there had been no move from the blood race. However, the atmosphere only grew heavier. It was the calm before the storm. In the middle, Guo Ran had wanted to enter the yin-yang world to see if he could learn anything. But Long Chen had rejected this idea. The Yun Yang world was no longer the old Yun Yang world. If Guo Ran went too far out, then any fourth step Nether Passage expert would kill him. The danger was too great to make the risk worth it. Right now, the remnants of the Sovereign Seal were what Long Chen was relying on the most. He only had to block this entrance. Once the three days were up, his mission would be complete. Boss, do you think that their meeting will last ten days or more? Will we pass that easily asked Guo Ran. Don't get caught up in dreams. I've never had such good fortune in my entire life. Long Chen shook his head. Perhaps such a thing might happen for someone else. But he didn't have any hopes when it came to himself. He had barely said this when the land began to quiver. Everyone's gaze once more focused on the depths of the Yun Yang world. The low-ranking races were still present at the front. But behind them was an orderly army. Heavens. The Blue Ring Blood Race, the Stone Blood Race, the Golden Horn Blood Race, those are all high-ranking races within the Blood Race. So many have appeared at once. Li Jing let out a startled cry, barely able to believe what she was seeing. These races had only appeared within history books, and they were famed for their viciousness. They had once brought a reign of slaughter to the Martial Heaven continent. Moreover, their intelligence matched the human race and they possessed terrifying divine abilities. To put them in human terms, they were all powerful Empyreans, the true core force of the blood race. I told you that my luck wouldn't be that good. Long Chen shrugged helplessly. It wasn't that he was a pessimist. He was simply very confident in his bad luck. He was used to it. Nothing ever went that smoothly for him. Those little troops are strange. Ruian, go test them out, said Long Chen suddenly. The low-ranking races were at the front, but their movements were strange. It was as if they were carrying something heavy. Lu Ruian summoned her true body, 
before the army could get close, she attacked. As a result, those low-ranking blood race experts were blown apart. At the same time, terrifying explosions came from their backs. The power of those explosions managed to blow up Luruian's tough branches, making people jump. Luruian's branches were both flexible and tough, making them difficult to break even for divine items but a huge number of them had been blasted away. It seems that the blood race also has expert forgers. That explosive power is almost on the same level as the siege war chariot, said Guo Ran with some surprise. The low-ranking experts launched a suicidal attack on Lu Ruian, charging at her from every direction. Lu Ruian snorted. Countless willow leaves transformed into flying swords that sliced through them. No matter how they exploded, they only blew apart a few leaves. They were unable to harm her true body. Luruian's leaves were her most basic attack tool, and she could summon as many as she wanted. Her body shook as leaves poured out like an angry sea. The blood race's low-ranking experts were unable to get close enough to damage her true body. Her range and the area she covered stunned everyone. In terms of just attack range and area, perhaps no one can match her, said Bidang Rushuang. The Bidang family's old family had nodded as well. She had never seen such a powerful life form. They all knew that Luruian was not human. There were wood attributed magical beasts in this world, but not one of them was as terrifying as Luruian. Luruian was an extremely difficult existence to deal with. She had unlimited regenerative abilities. Whether she was fighting alone or in a group, she was an incredibly powerful existence. The blood race's idea was good, to use a suicidal sneak attack to break Xia Chen's formation. If they had managed to reach the formation, they could have used up most of its energy and maybe broken it, or left the killing blow to a second wave. Suddenly, from within the torrent of willow leaves, a single figure went against the flow. A blue ring flashed on his body, and he held a sword even longer than himself. Lu Ruian's leaves were unable to stop him. He was like a streak of light, appearing in front of Lu Ruian before she could do anything else. His sword slashed down. Lu Ruian formed hand seals, and the giant willow tree behind her shook. Countless branches coiled around each other, forming a giant whip. Boom. Her whip struck the blood race expert and knocked him back, but didn't injure him, startling Lu Ruian. This person's power was around the same as a human nether passage expert with awakened spirit blood. He let out a furious roar, and the blue ring on his body spun. Blood chi surged out of him, and divine light exploded out of his sword. This was a powerful opponent, and Lu Ruian no longer had time to attack with her leaves. Her branches coiled into giant whips that attacked her opponent. The blood race expert was repeatedly struck by Lu Ruian's whips. On the sixth hit, he finally coughed up a mouthful of blood. The world around him turned dark as 18 of Luru Ian's whips came at him from every direction. However, before she could kill him, a giant sword cut through all 18 of her whips. Chapter 2250 Blunting their sharpness all the whips had been severed. Luru Ian was stunned. These whips were each composed of 10,000 of her branches, but someone had cut through them all in one blow? You aren't a life form of the martial heaven continent. Why would you fight against my blood race? A man appeared in front of Lu Ruian, holding a sword. He had a blue ring covering his entire body, and his aura was powerful and sharp. He was like an unsheathed blade. The blue light coming from him turned heaven and earth blue. This was an extremely terrifying expert although his cultivation base was still in the life star realm. Whether or not I'm a life form of the martial heaven continent isn't important. What's important is that I need your blood, said Lu Ruian coldly. You're asking for it. That man's blue light shuddered. His sword blazed with light as it slashed toward Luruian. Boom. A sharp sword chi struck the giant sword, causing a powerful explosion. Yu Zifeng had stepped forward, forcing him back. Boss said to leave this one to me. You should focus on the others. HMPH. Although Luruian was very unwilling, she still turned away from her opponent. If she didn't listen to Long Chen, Chu Yao would grumble at her. Lu Ruian's massive willow body retreated. Quite a few of the blood race's experts had gotten past her during this time. Lu Ruian once more blocked them. Her mission was to prevent them from breaking their formation. 
that was what the Dragonblood Legion was depending on. A little human also dares to say such arrogant words, seeing Luruian leave behind a seemingly extremely weak human to block him. The man was infuriated. He felt like he was being looked down on. This man was a genius of the Blue Ring Blood race and was considered a leader of the junior generation. If it hadn't been for how powerful Luruian was, he would have disdained taking action here. Now that Luruian had been switched with Yu Zifeng, he was irritated. He wanted to finish this in one blow. Yu Zifeng didn't say a word. His hand slowly reached for the sword on his back. Yu Zifeng wasn't quite the same as other sword cultivators. He rarely kept his sword in his hand. It was usually in its sheath. That was why after the previous attack, he had returned his sword to its sheath. When his sword was sheathed, he looked like an ordinary person with a weak aura. Die. The blue ring blood expert shouted, his voice like thunder. His blood chi exploded out of him in giant waves, and his sword crashed down with immense power. Yu Zifeng's sword came out of its sheath. In that instant, his aura transformed to become incomparably sharp. It was like he was a sword noveloon.com sword light flashed through the void like a bolt of lightning. Even though Yu Zifeng attacked second, his attack struck first, arriving at the blue ring blood expert's neck in an instant. As a result, the latter was shocked and hastily switched to defense. Sparks flew, and a thumb-sized cut appeared in his sword. What the blue ring blood expert looked at the cut in horror. This giant sword of his was a priceless treasure. Its weight was astonishing, and its hardness was incomparable. It was a divine item that had gone through thousands of years of battle. It was unknown just how many experts it had cut down. During that time, it had never been marked by the slightest damage. What was most unacceptable about this was that Yu Zifeng's sword was made of ordinary metal. He couldn't see anything special about it. Yu Zifeng's sword spun through the air. The blue ring blood expert had yet to recover from his shock, and his block was even a bit slower than last time. Although he managed to block it, the sharpness of Yu Zifeng's sword light resulted in a long cut on his face. His giant sword suddenly became the same blue as the light coming from him. He retreated his sword slashing through the air. He had decided that he couldn't fight in close range. Yu Zifeng's attack speed was too fast for him to react. Furthermore, his sword was too large to be easy to use in close range. Blue wave sword out of his giant sword, submerging Yu Zifeng. Yu Zifeng's expression was icily calm. His sword slashed out repeatedly, slicing apart the blue waves. One was a terrifying sword cultivator of the human race and the other was a supreme genius of the Blue Ring Blood race. Sword Chi rumbled in the sky as they fought an exceptionally intense battle. Kill. The Blood Race's army continued to charge, their voices like a roaring tsunami. After failing to break through for a full day, they finally started using their trump cards. Blue light shone out as the Blue Ring Blood race's experts attacked. Their giant swords cut through the air, striking Luruian. Even the other ordinary members of the blood race were cut down by their attacks. In the face of their sharp attacks, even Luruian couldn't hold on. Her branches broke over and over again, and she was forced to retreat. The blood race had originally been planning on using a suicide squad to break Xia Chen's formation, but that plan had been ruined by Luruian. Having lost their patience after that plan failed, they directly launched a powerful assault. Dragonblood Warriors Prepare yourselves. The true battle is starting, shouted Long Chen. Lu Ruian was being forced back further and further. She was like a giant tree in the face of a flood. No matter how powerful she was, she was still being assaulted from every direction. There were just too many of them. Behind the experts of the Blue Ring Blood Race were members of the Blood Race that were emitting a rock like luster. Li Jing said that they were experts of the Stone Blood Race, another high ranking blood race. Their skin was as tough as rock, and once they activated their bloodlines, they were like bloody rocks, possessing both great offense and defense. Most terrifying of all was that the stone blood race was able to control earth energy and could be likened to earth cultivators. If they managed to reach the formation, the damage they could do would be unbearable. Furthermore, behind the stone blood race was the golden horned blood race. They had two golden sheep-like horns on their heads and they were the most powerful according to Li Jing. It was said that they were outstanding even amongst the high-ranking blood races. 
They were one of the rare sub-races that possessed spiritual attacks. Their divine abilities were even sharper, and in past battles, they had been the most frightening enemies. They had to be dealt with immediately, or they would cause immense casualties. With these three high-ranking races attacking at once, with the Blue Ring Blood races the vanguard, they were like a tsunami crashing upon the battlefield. Howls and roars shook the air. Hu Jinying and the others clenched their fists. This was the true battle. Millions of experts of the blood race were swarming over. Even the weakest of them were comparable to life star Empyreans. Just witnessing this sight gave people shivers. The first wave must have their sharpness blunted. Meng Qi, I'll entrust it to you. Long Chen looked at Meng Qi solemnly. Meng Qi smiled and nodded. On her own, she walked forward, slowly forming hand seals. Powerful spiritual strength unfurled from within her and one giant figure after another appeared in the void. Huge bodies comparable to mountains appeared, and their roar shook the stars. A total of 108 magical beasts were lined up, their terrifying pressures crashing down upon the battlefield. What seeing those magical beasts, the Martial Heaven Continent's experts let out startled cries. They were all peak 12th rank magical beasts. In the last battle, Meng Qi had also summoned peak 12th rank magical beasts but not so many. Those magical beasts had low intelligence. So when facing 4th step nether passage experts, their true combat power was lacking. But with a beast tamer directing them, they could unleash their full potential. Hence, everyone was stunned to see Meng Qi summon so many of them. Does this world even have that many peak 12th rank magical beasts? Just how powerful is her spiritual strength? How does she dare to control so many magical beasts? Is she not afraid of them fighting back? This person was also a beast tamer. He also had a peak 12th rank magical beast and two other late 12th rank magical beasts. That peak 12th rank magical beast was treated as well as his father. He doted on it, afraid of it turning on him. He was a nether passage expert with powerful spiritual strength. But even he could only control three magical beasts any more and it would be too dangerous. Just those three magical beasts had made him a famous figure. However, when he saw 108 peak 12th rank magical beasts, he felt like he had gone insane. Just how was this possible? Even Bidang Rushuang was amazed. She had a powerful houseboat, the three-foot golden crow, and she was well aware of just how much spiritual strength was required to control a powerful magical beast. Just as everyone was stunned, the 108 magical beasts formed a tidy line and opened their mouths. Rays of divine light shot out, tearing through the army of the blood race. Chapter 2250 100 Beast Slaughter Boom The 108 peak magical beasts attacked in unison. There were swords of light, giant spheres of destructive power, and rays of light that swept through the battlefield. The Blue Ring Blood Race's experts at the front were enveloped by those attacks before they could react. Peak 12th rank magical beasts were on par with 4th step nether passage experts. The only reason they were at a disadvantage in a fight against them was because their intelligence was too low. Even a 3rd step nether passage expert could kill them if they did it smartly. However, their true power was absolutely terrifying. Their attacks were so sharp that even 4th step nether passage experts didn't wish to fight them head on. These magical beasts were under Menki's control, and even the cast time for their attacks had been shortened by her training. The battlefield became empty. Even these high-ranking races were blown to bits. The blood race's sharp charge had been stopped right in its tracks. It was unknown just how many of them had been killed, but the blue ring blood race's experts hastily retreated throwing their army into a panic. Too terrifying. No wonder beast tamers are said to be the most terrifying profession. They have limitless potential. This scene shocked everyone. If they were facing a hundred peak 12th rank magical beasts, wouldn't even a fourth step nether passage expert have to flee for their life? If all their attacks had been concentrated on one spot, wouldn't that be enough to wipe a fourth step nether passage expert out of existence? Pill Valley and the other powers were all terrified. They suddenly recalled the last battle. Apparently, the Dragonblood Legion hadn't been forced to the point of even using all their cards. Meng Chi had only used a few of these magical beasts back then. In reality, they were overthinking it. 
Meng Chi had gone back to the wild world and captured these magical beasts with the Drake King's help after that last battle. Even though her spiritual strength had far surpassed someone in the same realm, she was actually only able to fully control around 30 of them at once. Just subduing a magical beast wasn't enough. They would just run rampant over the battlefield, attacking both friend and foe. Their potential was very limited that way, and they might even be killed if someone caught their weak point. However, there was a supreme, heaven-defying treasure within Menki's hands known as the Myriad Spirit Diagram. After bringing these magical beasts into it, she could control them through the diagram. The only regretful thing was that their intelligence was too low, and their bloodline had regressed too severely to inherit the Myriad Spirit Diagram's divine abilities. Long Chen had one side over that. If these magical beasts could be trained to the same level as Xuan beasts, then Men Qi would be able to sweep through the martial heaven continent all on her own. Men Qi's move shocked everyone. If these magical beasts were used properly, they would be able to trample the opposition. Just how terrifying was the thought of a legion of magical beasts? However, after the brief chaos after the first attack, the Blood Race's army made their move. The Stone Blood Race switched positions with the Blue Ring Blood Race, charging up to the front. Men Chi formed hand seals, and the magical beasts roared again. Their attacks blasted forth across the battlefield once more. However, this time, their attacks didn't have the same effect. The Stone Blood Race's experts slammed their hands on the ground, summoning giant, mountain-like shields that blocked the attacks. Only the ones at the very front were killed. The ones behind them were injured while the ones at the rear weren't harmed at all. After blocking that attack, they pounced. They were now even closer and would quickly reach the magical beasts. That would throw them into a panic, and even 12th rank magical beasts would be quickly slaughtered by the millions of blood race experts. Meng Chi was preparing to unleash another attack when Long Chen said, Don't waste the effort. Good steel must be used on the edge of the blade. Put them away to use at another critical time. The other side had already come with a counterplay, reducing the effectiveness of the magical beasts. Forcing it was meaningless. They would only be able to kill a portion of the Blood Race's army without achieving the real goal. Our moves have been probed by the other side. Now is truly the time for a direct clash. Meng Chi, your magical beasts can be used for sneak attacks at important moments. Your attacks are the sharpest and possess the greatest killing power. Pay attention to the movements on the battlefield to attack, said Long Chen. Brothers, the real battle's starting. Let these idiots see the true power of the Dragonblood Legion. Kill. Long Chen charged to the very front, lightning wings spreading on his back. He was like a bolt of lightning streaking across the battlefield. Kill. Following Long Chen, Guo Ran, Gu Yang, Li Qi, Song Mingguan, and the others also charged. The Dragonblood Warriors as a whole roared, their voices shaking heaven and earth, their killing intent making the world change color. Boom. A giant saber image tore out of Evil Moon and slashed down on the Blood Race's army, blasting a straight line through them. It didn't matter if it was the Stone Blood Race, the Blue Ring Blood Race, or the Golden Horn Blood Race at the rear. They were all killed. Bang. However, before his attack could reach the end of the battlefield, a blood-colored fist image blew it apart. Out from amongst the golden horned blood race walked an expert covered in blood chains. His head was completely bare of the slightest hair, but he had two horns that looked like they were made of gold. Long Chen's heart shook. His intuition told him that this was an extremely powerful opponent. Although his aura was still in the life star realm, he gave off an extremely dangerous feeling. Human, come face your death. I want your spirit root that expert smiled cruelly, looking like a crocodile staring at its prey. I feel like I want your spirit blood, said Long Chen, shaking his head. However, he didn't charge over. If this golden horned blood expert wanted to play games with Long Chen, he was far too lacking. This golden horned blood expert had countless experts by his side. If Long Chen went over, he would be attacked by the entire group. Long Chen knew that this opponent was also afraid of the Dragonblood Legion's experts. He didn't dare to charge forward for fear that Meng Chi, Chu Yao, and the others would work together to eliminate him. The Dragonblood Legion was clashing with the Blood Race's army. Gu Yang messaged Long Chen, 
saying that he was going to reinforce Yu Zifeng. At this time, Yu Zifeng was facing the attacks of many of the Blue Ring Blood race. Chu Yao, Tang Wan'er, Yi Zhikyu, Guo Ran, and Cloud were all fighting now, slaughtering their enemies. Chu Yao, Tang Wan'er, and Yi Zhikyu's large area attacks were extremely effective. Chu Yao joined forces with Lu Ruian. Lu Ruian locked the sky, while Chu Yao locked the earth. Willow branches and wooden stakes interwove, forming a giant cage. Even the stone blood race with its powerful earth energy was unable to block their combined attacks. Tang Wan'er had summoned an endless sea of wind blades, creating a region around herself devoid of any life. After having awakened a heaven soul manifestation, Tang Wan'er's combat power had soared. Wherever her wind blades went, the blood race's experts were chopped up like cabbages. With her sword in hand, Yi's Hikia was like an ice goddess. The blood race's experts would barely manage to take a few steps within her domain of ice and snow before being turned into ice statues. That was such a frightening sight that the ones behind them ran in terror. The dragon blood legion's power was stunning. That expert of the golden horn blood race couldn't sit still. He had no choice but to charge over to Long Chen. As expected, thousands of other experts followed him. After having drawn people's attention, their auras were completely exposed. Hu Jin Ying and the others gasped. Those experts all possessed such powerful auras that Yi Lingxian felt suffocated. They were all experts amongst experts that had been hiding their auras to bait Long Chen into going over. Those fellows are all nether passage experts with pure bloodlines. Who would have thought that the blood race would send such terrifying enemies at us during the initial sounding out phase? Hu Jin Ying was growing worried. Hu Jinying knew more than most people about the Martial Heaven Continent's history. Experts on this level had previously only appeared during the late stages of the Dark Era in the past. However, they were now appearing right at the start. That wasn't a good omen. If things were like this already, then what about the battles in the future? Was this Dark Era really going to close the door on the continent's history? You want to rely on the pressure of a dead ghost's remnant power to protect yourselves? You're too immature. Since we've come, we'll force open the door. All that awaits you is death and despair. All you have to do is prostrate yourselves on the ground and wail in anguish. The golden horned blood expert arrived in front of Long Chen. His gaze icy. Long Chen's originally calm expression instantly became frighteningly cold. You wish to blaspheme the sovereigns? Then I'll use all your blood as an offering. Chapter 2252 Reaping Lives It wasn't just Long Chen who was angered by this. The Dragon Blood Legion and the Martial Heaven Continent's experts were also enraged. The sovereigns could not be blasphemed. Even though they had died, one of their remnant wills still remain to protect the Martial Heaven Continent. They were supreme existences. For them to be blasphemed by the blood race, everyone's killing intent sword. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen. Kill him. The Martial Heaven Alliance's disciples roared. Veins popping on their foreheads. The golden horned blood expert smiled derisively at their anger. Once my blood race's army enters the Martial Heaven continent, the first thing we'll do is destroy the tombs of those old ghosts. I'll show you that you're nothing more than pigs raised for the slaughter. Your fate is to be slaughtered, and resistance will only bring greater pain. Buzz. Long Chen's divine ring burst into existence, causing heaven and earth to shake as it spun. His killing intent filled the world. Although Long Chen knew that the other side was doing this intentionally, he still couldn't hold back his anger. Long Chen had met Sovereign Yun Shang and had seen Devil Spirit Mountain's Sovereign Ching Shu. Moreover, he and Sovereign Mo Li called each other brother. He had been completely won over by the Sovereign's peerless style. Long Chen was not afraid of heaven or earth. Although he wasn't so arrogant to consider himself unrivaled, the number of people he truly admired were few. As for who could win his respect and worship, the only ones were the sovereigns. That wasn't just because of their supreme position and world-shaking power, but how they had selflessly given up everything to protect everyone else. As Long Chen's fury soared, his divine ring raged, unleashing astral winds that crashed against heaven and earth. Congratulations. You've managed to infuriate me and everyone else. Now let me see just how much ability you have to dare act so arrogantly. Long Chen's voice thundered out, and like an angry killing god, he charged straight at the golden horned blood expert. 
ignoring the other experts of the blood race. A bunch of pigs like you cannot fathom what abilities I possess. The golden horned blood expert sneered. The blood chains around his body tightened. His blood chi suddenly soared. And runes could be seen flowing within the chains like countless serpents. His fists were like warhammers. Smashing at Long Chen. Boom. Evil Moon smashed into his chain-covered fist. Space twisted and explosions occurred. With shattered runes flying out like a rain of light. Long Chen's attack was actually unable to shake this expert of the Golden Horned Blood race. A fist image and a saber image remained locked in midair. The clash caused the void to flash between dark and bright. This is your power? If that's all, you've really disappointed me, sneered the Golden Horned Blood expert. Suddenly, six stars appeared in Long Chen's eyes, with one being dim. In an instant, Long Chen's power grew explosively, and silver scales covered his body. His saber immediately smashed through the chains on his opponent's fist. The Golden Horned Blood expert's arm was actually blown apart by Long Chen's immense power. He flew back. Ha ha ha. For a pig. This power's not bad. Good. Killing such a strong pig is much more interesting. The Golden Horned Blood expert laughed despite having one of his arms blown off. As if he didn't care about it at all. Shockingly. The chains around his body were twisting. Transforming into a chain arm. When the chains retreated. They revealed a completely new arm. It happened in the blink of an eye. His aura hadn't changed in the slightest. His recovery speed was even faster than Empyrean's using Heavenly Tao energy. The disappearance of an arm hadn't affected him at all. That's a lot of bullshit coming from your mouth. The blood races hogs for slaughter. And I'll be taking your blood to make blood tofu. This was Long Chen's first time hating a race so much. For the first time, he had an urge to exterminate an entire race. He's mine. You can kill the rest. His opponent turned to the people behind him, giving them orders. He was clearly the leader. Those people nodded. One of the blue ring blood experts smiled sinisterly and shot away like a bolt of blue lightning. He had only gotten midway when a dagger stabbed through his head. He died instantly. The dagger vanished. No one even saw who was holding it. That expert had been one of the blood race's top experts. One of the people that had been beside the Golden Horned Blood Expert. One of those people was currently fighting Yu Zifeng. The person fighting Yu Zifeng was the strongest expert of the Blue Ring Blood Race's junior generation. However, the one that had just been slain was only slightly weaker than him. Novaloon.com Even the Golden Horned Blood Expert was startled. He shouted, Ignite your blood flames. Following his shout, the ones around him activated their essence blood. Blood-colored flames burst into existence around them. You should worry about yourself. Long Chen shot forward, unleashing the eighth form of Split the Heavens. What a joke. You think you can threaten me? The Golden Horned Blood expert sneered. His figure shook, and he actually split into two people. The two of them were identical as they were both true bodies. One of them had his blood chains condense on his fist and smashed Long Chen's saber. Boom. He was blown back by Long Chen's saber, his chains broken, but his arm was fine. The other one attacked with his fist, using it like a warhammer. This time, Long Chen was blocking, and both of them were blown back. Heavens, he's a match for Long Chen in power? Just how powerful is he? Those familiar with Long Chen were stunned. They knew that in this world, perhaps the only one who could match Long Chen in power was wild. Then they also had to add on that Long Chen had just used the eighth form of Split the Heavens. That Golden Horned Blood expert had split himself into two without weakening at all. That made no sense. Suddenly, the Golden Horned Blood expert split into four. Most terrifying of all, the four of them all had identical auras. How is that possible? Bao Buping couldn't help shouting. The Martial Heaven Continent also had abilities that could split the body. Some made actual clones while some were illusory. Illusory split bodies were just used to trick people's senses. Clonus with actual bodies required a portion of the true body's soul and flesh, and were limited in power, to a maximum of 80% of the true body's power. Most of the time, such techniques were used in a crisis to save the true body. Rarely would people summon them to actually fight. That was because the death of a clone would make the true body's soul incomplete. To make up for that required a huge amount of effort. That was why true geniuses rarely cultivated such techniques. Even then, 
Ordinary people could only condense a single clone, but this golden horned blood expert had summoned three, each of which was on par with the true body. That was a heaven defying ability. The golden horned blood race doesn't have many members, they are a race with powerful spiritual strength. Other than their bloodline divine abilities, they still have their own special abilities. Their magical arts are completely different from the martial heaven continents. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, you must be careful. Li Jing shouted loudly from within the formation. The entire dragon blood legion had moved out. Only Xia Chen and Li Jing remained in the formation. Xia Chen was controlling the grand formation and couldn't leave, while Li Jing had essentially no combat power. There was no way for her to participate in a battle on this level. As Long Chen clashed with the Golden Horned Blood Expert, the other top experts of the blood race attacked. Suddenly, one of those experts had their head cut off and stabbed through by a dagger. That dagger once more vanished as soon as it appeared. It was like a life-reaping blade. Anyone who it set its gaze on was dead. They couldn't see the holder of the dagger as they barely managed to even see the dagger. Those from the Martial Heaven continent shivered. The Divine Daughter of the Blood Kill Hall was absolutely terrifying. No wonder it was said that she was the most terrifying assassin of the Martial Heaven continent. The Blood Kill Hall's master, Zhang Ziyang, wore an ugly expression. The current Blood Kill Hall was an empty husk. The top geniuses of the junior generation had all been killed by Dong Mingyu, leaving behind only a few old members. The Blood Kill Hall did not have the means to replenish itself. Zhang Ziyang spent each day in terror. He was like a death row inmate. He was waiting for the killing god sentencing. However, after Dong Mingyu betrayed the killing god, no divine edict had come from the killing god statue. The betrayal of a divine daughter was an unforgivable sin, and he as the hall master also had a share of the blame. He didn't know just how terrifying the punishment would be when it came. Zhang Ziyang was constantly looking for some way to escape his punishment. If he could eliminate Dong Mingyu, that would be best. If he couldn't, he had to at least put on a show. Otherwise, when the divine edict came down, he would be dead. Seeing the cruel dagger, the blood kill hall's number one divine item, his eyes reddened. If the cruel dagger was in his hands, he would definitely be cleaning up his troubles. However, just as Dong Mingyu attacked the third expert of the blood race, that expert's weapon swung toward her before her dagger could appear. The void trembled and Dong Mingyu's small figure was exposed. Chapter 2253 Beauties of the Legion Upon seeing Dong Mingyu, the blood race's experts were startled. They hadn't expected the terrifying assassin to be a beautiful girl. Dong Mingyu's eyes flashed as she looked at her shocked target. It's the power of your essence blood, isn't it? Dong Mingyu instantly saw through why he had noticed her. Her aura concealing abilities were the best in the blood kill hall, and with the cruel dagger, her aura was very difficult to sense. Just as she had approached this target, she had sensed a slight change in his blood chi. Most likely, this was what had sensed her. After she had killed the first target, the golden horned blood expert had made them activate their blood flames. Now she knew why. Upon killing the second target, that person's blood had incinerated on her dagger maybe even her body. Most likely, the blood race had some kind of special ability to sense bloodline power. After all, they were called the blood race. Perhaps there were many unknown secrets lying within their blood. If you can't sneak attack, you're definitely dead. Her target quickly recovered from his shock. A giant sword whistled toward her. Dong Mingyu raised her hand. The giant sword was cleanly caught by the dagger. However, Dong Mingyu's figure faded away like she was just an illusion. The blood race expert didn't even think. His sword slashed toward her fading figure. However, it passed right through. Not good. His expression suddenly changed. Dong Mingyu didn't give him any time to react. The cruel dagger silently cut off his head, causing blood to explode out of his neck. Assassins don't always need to stab people in the back. Although facing enemies head-on is taboo for assassins, it doesn't mean that I wouldn't have any chance of winning, said Dong Mingyu, holding his head. When Dong Mingyu was with Long Chen and the others, she was like an innocent girl. Sometimes the Dragonblood warriors forgot who she was and viewed her as someone they needed to protect. However, when Dong Mingyu actually took action, 
She showed the viciousness of an assassin. Killing people was as normal as breathing for her. Even if her assassination attempt failed. Even if she was facing an opponent head on. Taking her opponent's severed head was easy. You. The blood race expert was still alive with his head in Dong Mingyu's hand. He went through various emotions. He had never imagined that Dong Mingyu was so powerful. He wanted to say something. But he suddenly found that he was losing consciousness. He couldn't speak. And his mind gradually grew dark. I forgot to tell you. Those who have their heads cut off by the cruel blade have their souls extinguished. Said Dong Mingyu lightly. Before she finished speaking. That person was already dead. As the number one divine item of the blood kill hall. The cruel blade possessed god energy. Once activated. Those who were stabbed by it would have their yuan spirits wither. Furthermore. The spiritual strength of the Blue Ring Blood race was weak. There was no need for Dong Mingyu to activate anything. The Cruel Blade automatically killed him. Kill her. After a moment of shock, hundreds of the Blood Race's experts charged at her from every direction. Dong Mingyu was just that much of a threat. If she didn't die, then any one of them could be slain at any moment. Killing her was extremely important. Endless Wind Moon. Cover the earth and flip the heavens. Wind Moon Slash, a giant wind blade that looked like a crescent moon slashed through them. Tang Wan'er had come charging over. Her giant wind blade cut a straight line through the blood race's top experts. Those in its path were forced to scatter in every direction. This was Tang Wan'er's strongest attack. Back then, by working together with Lu Ruyan, she had even killed the leader of the stone race with it. If it weren't for her attack being spread so thin against too many experts. She definitely would have killed a few of them. However, their encirclement was still broken. Just as her attack passed, Yi's Hikyu's sword raised a storm of ice and snow, freezing space. Both of them knew that Dong Mingyu was an assassin. It was unsuitable for her to fight a group of enemies. So they immediately came to assist her. The attacks of Tang Wan'er and Yi's Hikyu completely ruined the attacks of the blood race. And in their confusion... Another unlucky fellow had his head pierced by Dong Mingyu's dagger. A majestic bird cry rang out, and a black hole suddenly appeared in the sky. As a result, space collapsed and the blood race's experts felt a powerful suction force drawing them into it. This was Cloud's attack. Men Chi was on her back, concealing her aura. Just as everyone's attention was drawn to Dong Mingyu, Tang Wan'er, and Yi's Hikyu, they had silently snuck over. Some of the blood race's experts were already sucked into Cloud's mouth. They attacked but were shocked to find that their attacks were influenced by the powerful spatial suction and were simply sucked into the black hole. Over ten experts were sucked into Cloud's mouth. They entered a special space where black strands cut through their weapons and bodies. This was Cloud's strongest divine ability. And even Kun Pengzi had almost been sucked in back in the day. If he had been sucked in, he would have died. Men Chi sighed regretfully. These experts from the blood race were their strongest members, and their reaction speed was extremely quick. Even though many of them had been within the effective range of this attack, most of them had managed to escape. Another aspect was that using this move caused powerful spatial fluctuations. Even with Men Chi concealing Cloud's aura, the intense fluctuations were easily noticeable. However, she supposed that killing over 10 of the blood race's top experts in one attack was still worthy of celebration. You er, protect big sister Men Chi shouted Tang Wan er. As soon as Men Chi appeared, the top experts of the blood race turned to her. They knew that she was a beast tamer in command of over 112th rank magical beasts. She had to be killed before she summoned them again. Furthermore, she was a soul cultivator. So if they could just get close they could easily kill her. In comparison to Dong Mingyu who could only kill people one at a time, Men Chi was a greater threat. All right. Dong Mingyu smiled and vanished. No matter how space fluctuated or what attacks were launched, no one could sense her existence any longer. This was Dong Mingyu's first time fighting alongside people. The feeling of others entrusting their lives to her was extremely moving. She had never felt that before. The blood race's experts were startled. Dong Mingyu had clearly been touched by their blood flames, but they were completely unable to sense her. Clearly, she had special arts to avoid being sensed in spite of this as long as she wasn't attacking. Bastards. 
What are we supposed to do now? The blood race's experts were infuriated. Dong Mingyu had vanished from their senses. Now they had to be constantly wary of a sneak attack from a terrifying assassin. Cloud's wing shook as she began an intense battle against the blood race's experts. On her back, Men Chi formed hand seals, unleashing spiritual attacks. Anyone who entered her range would have their heads turn blank and their movements become sluggish. Even dozens of the blood race's top experts couldn't stop Cloud from flying out of their encirclement. One reason they couldn't stop her was because Cloud's power was so great, while another was that they didn't dare to get too close to Men Chi on their own. Who knew if some terrifying assassin would stab them in the back? Dong Mingyu's disappearance cast a shadow on the blood race's experts. Even as thousands of experts tried to surround Men Chi, they couldn't go all out. They ended up locked in an awkward standoff. Long Chen's women are all so powerful. Even as a woman, I'm envious. Yi Lingxin watched as Men Chi, Yi Zhikyu, Chu Yao, Tang Wanur, Lu Ruian, Cloud, and Dong Mingyu managed to stop so many of the elites of the blood race. As a man, I have nothing to say. What is there to envy? Mo Nian rolled his eyes. You. Yi Lingxin glanced at Mo Nian and shook her head. You should just give up. You have the heart for it, but not the gods. Your legs go soft as soon as you see a pretty woman. What? How is it that exaggerated? You're not giving me the slightest face. Mo Nian grumbled. Eh, why has Wild come back? Hu Jin Ying suddenly noticed that Wild, who had charged out with everyone, had not returned to the formation. Why wasn't he fighting? Perhaps there's no good food for him, said the old man. He knew that Long Chen prevented Wild from eating human-shaped life forms. Wild used up an insane amount of energy when fighting, and he constantly needed to eat. Without any food on the battlefield to replenish him, he would rather not fight. The current battlefield didn't need him. Long Chen's probably preserving some power as a backup. After all, this battle will last a while. It's been two and a half days now. Once a few more hours pass. He'll have accomplished his mission. There's no need to risk lives, said Li Shai Anxuan. He had a certain understanding of Long Chen's tactics. Although Long Chen was impetuous, when it really came time to fight, he didn't risk lives unless he had to. Boom. Suddenly, the entire battlefield shook. Everyone's attention was once more drawn to Long Chen's fight with the Golden Horned Blood Expert. At some point, the blood chains around his body had become golden looking like they were forged out of gold. Chapter 2254 Bloodline Clonus The Golden Horned Blood Expert was covered in golden chains, the same color as the horns on his head. He looked like a monstrosity made out of gold. In his last exchange with Long Chen, surging Qi waves had exploded thunderously. The two of them were separated by less than 300 meters, coldly staring at each other. In their last exchange, they had been even. Golden King Blood he is actually a king of the Golden Horn Blood Race, exclaimed Li Jing. The Blood Race had many sub-races, but the commanders of the Blood Race belonged to the high-ranking sub-races. As for a high-ranking race like the Golden Horn Blood Race, their bloodline could also be split into different levels based on the purity of their blood, just like the rankings of the human race's spirit roots. The Golden Chains was an indication that he was a legendary king amongst the Golden Horn Blood Race. Which was why Li Jing was so shocked. On the side of the Martial Heaven continent, people were shocked to hear this. While their understanding of the blood race was inferior to the divine families, they had heard of the Golden King blood. It was a special blood held only by kings of the high ranking races of the blood race. This Golden Horned Blood expert was actually such a young king. Long Chen stood in the air with his divine ring surging behind him. The stars in his eyes revolved. With Evil Moon on his shoulder, intense killing intent blazed in his eyes. The Golden Horned Blood Expert smiled coldly. The golden chains on his body tightened around his fist. Your power isn't bad, but it's just that. There is an uncrossable gap between the two of us. To die to my hands is a glory for you. It's been many years since someone has forced me to use my king blood. Properly experience the taste of despair. Four golden figures shot out at Long Chen at the same time. The Golden Horned Blood Expert's other bodies had also activated their Golden King blood. Before this, the four of them had been evenly matched with Long Chen. Now that they had activated their King blood, 
Four golden fists came from four different directions. Who cares about king blood? In my eyes, it's nothing more than some good blood for making blood tofu. Long Chen suddenly swung Evil Moon, ignoring three of the bodies. The 108,000 stars within Long Chen's body suddenly activated. His world energy was unleashed. The world energy didn't cause any fluctuations even once he summoned it. It only exploded out when the golden horned blood expert's fist touched his saber. That body instantly exploded, transforming into blood runes. That had clearly been the true body that had summoned the king blood first. But when it was killed, it became a clone. Haha, <laughs> foolish human. You've fallen for it. One of the clones laughed, smashing his fist at the back of Long Chen's head. Boom. However, just as he thought that his fist would blow up Long Chen's head, a cyan brick appeared in front of him, blocking his fist. The heaven-flipping seal shattered his fist and made him stumble back while coughing up blood. As he coughed up blood, Evil Moon swung from a very crafty angle and sliced through his waist. Shockingly, once he was cut in two, his body exploded into runes just like the first body. How is that possible? A clamor rose amongst the spectators. They had all seen it clearly. The first one that Long Chen killed had clearly been the true body, but it had become a clone in the last instant. The second one had then become the true body. When he coughed up blood, when his fist shattered, he had clearly been the true body. But when he was killed, he was once more a clone. His true body is able to freely switch amongst the clones, shouted someone suddenly. Although they didn't fully comprehend it yet, that was very likely. The blood race's divine abilities really were different from the martial heaven continent's techniques. Boom. Another one of the bodies struck Long Chen in the back, causing him to cough up blood and smash into the ground. Long Chen crashed through the ground, blasting apart quite a few of the weaker blood race experts. My bloodline clones are the result of a secret art of the golden horned blood race. Every clone is a true body. Every true body is a clone. Just how are you going to fight me? The golden horned blood expert sneered. His remaining two bodies suddenly split in two, becoming four once more. Those four then once more split, becoming eight. The eight of them stood in the sky, looking down on Long Chen. The golden horned blood expert didn't press the attack. Instead, he acted like victory was already in his grasp. Long Chen slowly stood and patted off the dust. Just now, his bones had broken, but the world trees in his primal chaos space were fully grown, so this little bit of injury wasn't much. How am I going to fight you? I have plenty of options, but I don't feel like using them on you. Your cloning ability really is interesting, said Long Chen lightly. It's interesting? Ha 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 ha. The golden horned blood expert suddenly raised his head and laughed. The blood race's cloning arts are the most perfect of all cloning arts. Those little tricks your human race possesses are crap in front of them. Perfect? I don't think so. Long Chen snickered. He put away the heaven flipping seal, and in a single step, arrived in front of the golden horned blood expert. You're questioning my golden horned blood race's divine abilities? All right, I'll let you die knowing how outclassed you are. The eight clones shot at Long Chen from all directions. On the way, they suddenly split again, becoming 16. Long Chen's disdain had clearly infuriated him. How laughable. There is nothing absolutely perfect in this world. Any technique has flaws. Long Chen suddenly shot forward, lightning wings appearing on his back. My divine ability is perfect. The 16 bodies shouted at the same time. Apparently. Long Chen's provocations were extremely effective. It seemed that this man had a strong sense of honor and glory for his race. The 16 golden figures attacked at the same time, so Long Chen was forced to block them one after another. The immense power caused heaven and earth to collapse wherever they went. Golden light exploded as the void twisted. With 16 bright golden figures attacking at the same time, it was difficult to see Long Chen amongst them. The 16 figures were extremely fast. They left after images in their midst, making it look like there were thousands of them. They launched a tempest of attacks, and just watching already took people's breath away. This cloning art is way too monstrous. There's no way to stop it. Chang Hao was gobsmacked. If the true body could freely transfer between the clones, then there would be no way to judge which was real and which was fake. 
Such a monstrous magical art definitely didn't exist on the Martial Heaven continent. Are you a child? There is no such perfect technique in this world. A riddle must have an answer, and a technique must have a way to break it. As a martial artist, you have to have unswerving confidence. If your confidence is shaken just like this, then you're going to be defeated right from the start. With your mental state in a mess, how could you find the flaw in the technique? The old man barked at him. Your fist is stronger, so what you say is right. Then why don't you tell me how to unravel this technique? Demanded Chang Hao. The old man kicked Chang Hao in the butt, raging. I could kill him with a single blow of my saber, so why would I need to unravel it? Clearly, the old man also didn't know what to do against such a technique. The only thing he could do was unleash a full strength blow. Who cared about clones or true bodies? He would kill them all in one blow. Of course, that was because the old man's cultivation base was so much higher. Long Chen was only in the Life Star Realm, so that method was useless for him. What are you looking at me for? Did I say something wrong? The old man raised his cane upon seeing Chang Hao glaring at him. This little brat's guts were growing. He wasn't going to take his lessons much longer. Do you not know what you said wrong? Chang Hao meant that if you were Long Chen, what would you do? Not if you were fighting instead, snorted Ku Jinying. If I knew, would I be talking to you? I'd have already told Long Chen, said the old man bluntly. Chang Hao almost coughed up blood. If he didn't know, how could he directly beat up people who asked? Ku Jinying ignored the old man and told Chang Hao. In truth, he wasn't wrong. There are no perfect techniques in this world. However, there is no historical record of this divine ability so we temporarily cannot find a solution to it. But you must remember this principle in your heart. If you've decided that your opponent's technique is perfect, it signifies that you've been defeated. Experts are experts because of their undefeatable wills. If the will doesn't break, then there will always be a chance no matter how powerful the opponent is. You must constantly be looking for a way to defeat them. Alliance Head, you are correct. You're much better than some people who don't know what they're saying and then start beating people up, praised Chang Hao. Brat, just wait. The old man glared at Chang Hao. Boom. Just at that instant, a powerful explosion came from the distant battlefield. The 16 clones stared at Long Chen in shock. Chapter 2255 The whole what happened just now, asked the old man. He had missed it due to talking just now. Long Chen forced back the true body with an attack. It seems that he found some rule during the battle with the 16 clones, said Li Xiangxuan. People stared in shock at the battlefield. Long Chen and the 16 golden horn blood experts were looking at each other. Long Chen lazily rested Evil Moon on his shoulder. He indifferently said, I told you that there weren't any perfect techniques. Every technique has a hole in it. Now I've found that hole. Go ahead and use a different technique because this one won't work any longer. Bullshit. You were just lucky. The golden horn blood expert roared. As he refused to believe it, his 16 bodies once more attacked. Long Chen sneered and swung his saber. Just as he was about to strike one of them, his saber suddenly turned and struck a different one. Boom. The one he struck was sent flying, while the 15 other bodies also flew back. I refuse to believe this. The golden horn blood expert was filled with disbelief. He once more charged forward, only to be blown back by another swing of Long Chen's saber. The other bodies were blown back at the same time. What is going on? Hu Jinying and the others were startled. They still didn't see what was happening. Even if Long Chen could find the true body, the clones could still attack him, right? Do you want to know the secret? Asked Long Chen indifferently. Speak. The golden horned blood expert found it inconceivable. This was an almost perfect divine ability. In his entire race, he was the only one to comprehend it, let alone the martial heaven continent. Even in the golden horned blood race, very few people had ever seen this move. It was impossible for Long Chen to have known about it. This was the oldest divine ability of the golden horned blood race. It had almost been lost to time and was praised as the most perfect killing move. However, Long Chen had blocked him three times in a row. He refused to accept it. Long Chen shook his head. With that kind of tone, I shouldn't tell you. But if I don't tell you, you won't be convinced. Fine. 
I'll tell you. Rather than saying you have clones, it's better to say that you have bloodline puppets with no thoughts of their own. They rely entirely on you controlling them. Your true body is able to freely switch with the puppets, which are like husks for you. Your blood race is truly powerful. Such a divine ability has never been seen on the Martial Heaven continent. Being surrounded by 16 of you and unable to figure out the trick, someone really would be frightened. Even I was given a surprise. You can transfer between the 16 clones with just a thought, and very quickly at that, so fast that others can't react, making it look like the 16 clones are all true bodies. Get to the point, shouted the golden horned blood expert. Long Chen shook his head. I'm not saying this just for you, but also for my brothers and sisters of the Martial Heaven Alliance. They aren't too clear on what's happening, so I have to give them more details. If you don't want to listen, you can just attack. If you want to listen, then shut your mouth. You, the golden horned blood expert was infuriated, but he urgently wished to know where the problem lay in. So he continued listening. The experts of the Martial Heaven Alliance were also listening as closely as they could. Even now, they didn't know what the hole in this technique was. When encountering such a technique, the only thing they could do was unleash a powerful magical art in a direct clash. Such a thing would require a paragon art. That kind of large area attack could wipe out the true body with the clones. However, a paragon art required time to cast. Would the 16 clones just watch as you unleashed such a technique? For Long Chen to have found the flaw of such an amazing divine ability in such a short time was inconceivable to these geniuses. His vision was incredibly sharp. Since the golden horned blood expert was silent, Long Chen continued. My guess is that the reason you were able to awaken this ability is because you have outstanding spiritual strength amongst your race. The golden horned blood expert was startled. Clearly, Prudence was not a specialty of the blood race. All his secrets were written on his face. Long Chen said, This kind of cloning divine ability doesn't just require powerful bloodline power, but it also requires a correspondingly powerful spiritual strength. Spiritual strength isn't a specialty of the blood race, so I guess that this technique is something only a few members of your race can use. Long Chen had long since observed that of the entire army of the Golden Horned Blood race, the person with the strongest spiritual strength second to his opponent only had a tenth of his spiritual strength. His opponent in front of him was exceptionally talented to be able to use this technique. Quite a few of the top experts that had been killed so far belonged to the Golden Horned Blood race, but they hadn't managed to summon a single clone. Just from that fact, Long Chen could tell that this move was rarely seen even in the Golden Horned Blood race. Long Chen looked at the sky, continuing neither rapidly or slowly. The reason I could pinpoint your true body is because your technique has three clear weaknesses. Bullshit. The Golden Horned Blood expert roared. For this perfect divine ability of his, he refused to accept there being a single weakness, let alone three. Long Chen smiled disdainfully. First, when your true body switches with your clones, there is a very subtle spiritual fluctuation that cannot escape me. Your spiritual strength might be outstanding amongst the golden horned blood race, but on the martial heaven continent, you're only slightly better than average. As for myself, well... My spiritual strength is only the slightest bit stronger than yours. Yes, not a lot. Just a few thousand times stronger. You're lying. The golden horned blood expert was infuriated. Thinking that Long Chen was messing with him. He definitely refused to believe that Long Chen's spiritual strength was so powerful. In truth, Long Chen wasn't lying. His spiritual strength was as vast as a sea. Saying it was a few thousand times was him being modest. Long Chen smiled indifferently. Do you know why it took me a full incense stick's worth of time to find this? It's because I'm not skilled in soul arts. If it was one of my women, she would have found this in just a few seconds. You can believe I'm just saying big words. That's fine. Just treat it as me spouting nonsense. Let's move on to the second weakness. Your blood race's power lies in your bloodlines. Although your clones are linked by your soul. There is a subtle shift in your bloodline power when you switch bodies as well. For others, this shift is so subtle that they wouldn't notice it, especially if they were in a life and death juncture. However, sorry, 
I tend to be exceptionally sensitive to bloodline power, so I can notice it. Third, and this is the greatest, most fatal weakness, is that when your true body transfers through the clones, your two horns will suddenly light up a bit. When I noticed that, I almost slapped myself. I hadn't even noticed something so obvious. At the end, Long Chen's expression twisted in an odd expression. He looked very incensed, as if he had insulted his own intelligence. Suddenly, one of the sixteen bodies had his horns light up. They then dimmed, and another one's horns lit up. The lightning flashed through the sixteen bodies. An ordinary person might not be able to notice the slight chance, but for powerful cultivators, it was as bright as a flickering lamp. The golden horned blood expert was constantly transferring his true body through his clones. He clearly didn't believe Long Chen and was testing it himself. As a result, he found that it really was like Long Chen said. Even he hadn't known this detail. However, upon seeing the speed at which he was moving through his clones, the Martial Heaven Continent's experts were shocked. That was incredibly fast. In the blink of an eye, he could switch three times. Even if they understood this, it was useless. There was no way to react. Perhaps only an expert on Long Chen's level would be able to grasp that slight opening. Do you see now? Don't try to act baffled. No matter the technique, some things remain the same. If you were scared by this, you would be doomed in battle. The old man looked at Chang Hao. The other seniors also looked at their disciples, using this chance to teach them. With a living example like Long Chen, their words had more weight. The golden horned blood expert's expression was extremely ugly. He snorted, but before he could speak, Long Chen said, Do you know why I was so kind as to tell you these things? Isn't it to expound on the Tao for these pigs? Let me tell you, it's useless. I have more peerless techniques than just this one, sneered the golden horned blood expert. Long Chen shook his head. If I wanted to expound on the Tao, I could have done it after the battle. The reason I said so much is because I'm stalling for time. Stalling for time. The golden horned blood expert cocked his head in confusion. Hu Jinying and the others were startled. Only then did they notice that after another two hours, the three days would be up. There are still two more hours. Let's have a decisive battle to the death. Call out those shameful fellows you have underground. Black light surged out of Evil Moon. Like a river of stars, it slashed into the ground. A giant ditch appeared. The earth collapsed around it, revealing countless black figures. Chapter 2256 Devoured Soul Black Armor Cores No one had noticed that a mass of figures covered in black armor had managed to creep along beneath the battlefield. They were now exposed with the earth torn asunder. Those figures were covered in fist-sized plates of armor. That armor wasn't worn on their bodies but was growing out of them. Their bodies were pitch black their auras dark and sinister like they were fiends crawling up from hell. They had no hands. Instead, what came out of their arms were black bone blades. What are those? The Martial Heaven Continent's experts were horrified. How had these fellows appeared beneath the battlefield? That, that's, the blood race's devoured soul black armor cores. They aren't part of the blood race but the blood race's slaves. They were captured in other worlds. Their armor is extremely tough and their bone blades are sharp. When they attack, they don't fear death. They are weapons utilized by the blood race, said Li Jing, her face pale. The devoured soul black armor cores was classified as the most terrifying martial weapon of the blood race. A studious person like Li Jing was profoundly aware of just how frightening their existence was. Their bone blades had strong poison that targeted the soul. If stabbed, the soul would be paralyzed and the mind would go blank. Although the poison's effect only lasted for a short moment, that moment was enough for a person to die many times over. The devoured soul black armor cores had been a nightmare for the martial heaven continent. In past battles with the blood race, they had caused endless casualties. Having been exposed, the members of the devoured soul black armor cores chittered. Two sharp teeth were visible at the corners of their mouths. They were like an ant's pincers. They otherwise looked to be in human form but they were not human. Long Chen actually knew they were there. Only now did people recover from their shock at seeing them. The older generation had heard of the devoured soul black armor cores due to how fiendish they were. Some of the dark stories of the continent actually stemmed from them. 
the devoured soul black armor cores was capable of silently passing underground and breaking the core of the formations that sects had set up to protect themselves. With the formation broken, those sects were wiped out, with not even a single person managing to survive. Clearly, the Golden Horned Blood expert had led his experts into a frontal assault to draw everyone's attention to allow the devoured soul black armor cores to pass underground without anyone noticing. They didn't just want to break Long Chen's formation, they wanted to cut them off at the rear. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen is the reincarnation of a god of war. The Martial Heaven Alliance's disciples looked at Long Chen worshipfully. That domineering and confident appearance of his made it seem like everything was under his control. They wished to follow such a figure. Even in the face of the terrifying blood race that had wrought endless pain and torment on the Martial Heaven continent, he still appeared unrivaled. They felt their blood heating up, and they had an urge to charge into battle with him. Even if they died on the battlefield, it would be a supreme glory. The ground continued to collapse, revealing more and more members of the devoured soul black armor cores. They were like a black sea crawling up from the earth. You want to play strategy with me? You overestimate your intelligence, sneered Long Chen. Over an hour ago, Xia Chen had sent him a message that countless life forms were slowly approaching from underground. Xia Chen's formation could not be compared to the formations of an ordinary sect although it was a killing formation, it could still sense oddities. To have so many hidden figures approach it without it sensing anything was impossible. The blood race's understanding of the martial heaven continent's formations was stalled at the last dark era when they had appeared. As a result, this strategy had become a joke. The movements of devoured soul black armor cores had been long since noticed. Long Chen had calculated the time to expose them perfectly, infuriating the golden horned blood expert. I still have two hours until my mission is complete, but I'm planning on ending this battle and taking your head within that time frame as an offering to my big brother Mo Li. You shouldn't have blasphemed the ones I respect the most. Evil Moon's two dragon marks slowly lit up. Black Chi swirled out of it turning Long Chen's white scales half black. A pillar of blood chi exploded out of him, and the roar of a dragon resounded throughout the world. Long Chen had merged with Evil Moon's power. When the power of the dark evil dragon was merged with the Azure Dragon, Long Chen's power exploded like a volcano. The world was impacted by his invisible power. Gravity seemed to vanish, and countless boulders floated into the sky before exploding upon reaching a certain height. The dragon roar grew louder, and the dragon aura grew with it. A will that looked down on the nine heavens shot out. Boss is finally using his real power. On the battlefield, Guo Ran was overlooking everything. Sensing Long Chen's aura, he grew excited. It had been a long time since his boss had used his full power. Although the last battle in front of the Yun Yang world had been very dangerous. For someone as familiar with Long Chen as Guo Ran. He knew that Long Chen had still had cards left. This time though, that supreme will had appeared. That indicated Long Chen was fighting without reservation. He knew that Long Chen was infuriated. His fury stemmed from the Golden Horned Blood Expert's blasphemy toward the sovereigns. Long Chen had to kill him. Long Chen, do well. Merge with as much of my essence blood power as possible shouted Evil Moon. Its power was sealed by Yun Shang, and it could not use it itself. It could only rely on Long Chen to unleash it. Dragonbone Evil Moon was made out of all the bones of its original body. Its essence, chi, and soul were locked inside. By using the Azure Dragon's essence blood, Long Chen was drawing out its power. This was currently their only way of unleashing that potential, as Evil Moon was unable to unleash it itself. Even it was getting excited. Long Chen was enveloped by the black chi bursting out of Evil Moon. He was like a devil god from hell. The divine rung spun, and his aura continuously grew. Heavens, senior apprentice brother Long Chen's power has risen so much after coming out of seclusion. Not necessarily. Perhaps he was originally this powerful, and he didn't use his full power in the last battle that's amazing. Kill. Kill them all. Kill all these invaders the Martial Heaven Alliance's disciples clenched their fists, wishing they could charge forward as well. Long Chen's aura continued to climb. His essence blood was merging with more and more of Evil Moon's essence blood. The dragon roar was like thunder rumbling through the air. Looking at the shocked golden horned blood expert, 
Long Chen coldly said. I know you have more power than this. You want to use the smallest price to wipe us out. So you don't want to reveal your true power. However, I don't want to waste time with probing blows anymore. We'll have a decisive battle between us. And only one of us will live to see tomorrow's sun. Long Chen's body trembled as his rising aura suddenly vanished. His saber slashed down. The golden horned blood expert suddenly clapped his hands together, shouting some unknown word. All his clones vanished, and at the same time, hundreds of rays of light shot out of his back, making him look like a hedgehog. His blood chi ignited, and golden flames burst out of him. Immersed within the golden light, his aura grew explosively. His chain-wrapped fist smashed into Long Chen's saber. Boom. Black chi and golden light clashed. Surging chi waves burst out in every direction, spreading far and wide. The devoured soul black armor cores that were surging out of the ground were blasted apart by the chi waves. Their powerful defenses were nothing in front of the two of them. The earth collapsed on an even greater scale. As a result, it was unknown how many of them were killed underground. Everything within the area of their attack became a region of death. The golden horned blood expert's body was enveloped by golden flames. Divine light shot out of his back and it was possible to see currents of energy within those rays of light sending energy back into him. That ability was similar to a human's manifestation. Supported by this unknown energy, he was able to block Long Chen's saber. However, his arm was shaking. He felt like an entire world was pressing down on his fist. Little human, you aren't qualified to be arrogant howled the golden horned blood expert. The rays of light behind him shuddered. The earth beneath the two of them continued to crumble, and the pressure pushed up the distant ground on the edge of their auras. The terrain was completely deformed. Both the Yunyang world and the Martial Heaven continent were trembling. What level of power is this? Seeing the two of them make two worlds shudder, people were amazed and horrified. The two of them weren't even using magical arts. This was a pure clash of power. Just as Long Chen clashed with the Golden Horned Blood Expert, the devoured soul black armor cores collapsed on Xia Chen's formation like an endless flood. Li Jing paled. Chapter 2257 Violent Wild Don't Worry, This Is Nothing. Xia Chen comforted Li Jing. He had no intention of laughing at her fear. Li Jing was just a student in a school and had never experienced a true battle. This was probably the normal reaction. The devoured soul black armor cores was like a black sea wave. As they approached the formation. Golden stars appeared in the sky and fell amongst the earth, exploding. Those were 300 meter golden spheres. When they exploded, countless pieces of circular fragments shot out. Those fragments had jagged edges and revolved rapidly. The devoured soul black armor core's defenses were unable to stop them. As a result, the fragments tore through their bodies, and the immense power directly made them explode. Just one of these bombs cleared an area of thousands of miles of all living beings. These were naturally the results of Guo Ran's labors through day and night. They were sharp killing tools. After receiving the mechanism sect's mechanism arts, Guo Ran had come up with ways to create even more destructive killing weapons. Eighteen bombs were destroying the devoured soul black armor cores above ground. However, there were too many of them, and they continued to come out of the ground. Xia Chen. It's up to you, shouted Guo Ran. He had only been able to make that many weapons due to time constraints. Don't worry, replied Xia Chen. He took out a golden formation disc it was only a foot long, but there were tens of thousands of runes on its surface. Xia Chen's hands drew on the disc, and runes began to light up one by one. The earth shook and pillars of light began to soar out, piercing through the clouds. They condensed into giant bows. The giant bows were made of shining runes. The bowstrings pulled back like invisible hands were pulling them. After that, the world turned dark. Heaven and earth twisted. What kind of formation is that? People were shocked. Especially those who had an understanding of formations. Such a formation was something they had never seen. They had never even heard of it. Heavenly Tao energy is being sucked away. Distorting the laws. This is a double attack containing runic power as well as heaven and earth's energy. Most of the time, the power of a formation came from its materials. Formations that could merge with heavenly Tao energy were rarely seen. Suddenly, space collapsed. 
Giant arrows streaked through the air like shooting stars. The giant arrows exploded amongst the devoured soul black armor cores. These arrows containing heavenly Tao energy possessed the power of the very world. Even with their armor, the devoured soul black armor cores was annihilated. After the arrows exploded, the runes that had been part of them dissipated back into heaven and earth. More arrows rained down. It was like tens of thousands of experts were constantly shooting. What an elegant formation. The arrows that explode have their heavenly Tao energy merge back into heaven and earth. And then that energy can be reused. There were formation masters amongst those present. And they were amazed by the profundities of Xia Chen's formation. Within this giant area, Xia Chen's formation was recycling heavenly Tao energy. Absorbing more heavenly Tao energy would use up an extreme amount of energy. Through this cycle though, he was able to keep the energy consumption low. As the arrows rained down, countless members of the devoured soul black armor cores were killed. However, the remaining members continued to charge forward without the slightest fear. They didn't have their own minds. They were killing tools that the blood race had raised. Due to their numbers, even through the rain of arrows, a few of them were able to slip through. Li Jing let out a shriek and instinctively wanted to retreat. But that would be against the divine family's orders, and she would be sternly punished. She had an urge to cry. Little sister, don't worry. Wild will protect you. Wild comforted Li Jing. As the few members of the devoured soul black armor cores reached the edge of the formation, runes lit up on the ground. Sharp swords shot out, cutting them down. Those little insects can't threaten us, said Xia Chen indifferently. This grand formation had been built by close to a million experts, as well as all of Xia Chen's materials. The majority of those materials had come from the original devil race that had excavated them from the wild world. The wild world had never been mined and was a giant treasury. Spirit crystals and divine materials were everywhere, adding on the numbers of the original devil race. With Long Chen purchasing enough tools for them, the original devil race was able to extract a huge amount of wealth every day. With that much money as support, he could also purchase any materials he was lacking from the Huai insect. The Dragonblood Legion had accumulated a huge amount of wealth during this time, but Long Chen knew that wealth wasn't important. Transforming that wealth into power was what was important. That was why Long Chen had told Xia Chen not to be distressed about the money. He had spent all the materials he could to make sure the formation was as strong as possible. No matter how important money was, it wasn't as important as lives. As long as they managed to survive their three days, the price they had paid so far would definitely be made up. Xia Chen had absolute confidence in his formation. With the last hours upon them, he almost wished for more of the blood races experts to come charging over so that he could gain more immemorial essence blood. The devoured soul black armor cores was unable to shake the formation. The ones that got through the rain of arrows still reached the end of their lives when they arrived at the formation. They were like moths drawn to a flame. Seeing that endless torrent of enemies dying, the martial heaven continents experts felt a chill. The devoured soul black armor cores was an endless tide of fiends. What schemes could be used against them? If struck by their bone blades, you would be doomed. They were fearless. They didn't know how to retreat. Upon encountering such enemies, there were no tricks that could be used. The devoured soul black armor cores can only be beaten with weapons of war. Physical bodies wouldn't be able to endure it. Sighed someone. It wasn't worth it to risk your life against such life forms. Their numbers were too great. If they did that, then the continent's experts would quickly be killed. The Dragonblood Legion's formation master is incredible. Just on his own, he is able to block millions of experts. He might show us things from the ancient legends once more. Many people sighed emotionally. It had been many years since such a powerful formation master had appeared on the continent. Although the various sects still had a few formation diagrams from the ancient era, those diagrams were a waste of paper. No one understood them. And even if they did, they were useless. They were like beggars who had instructions about how to build an imperial palace. They didn't have the resources or money to build it. As a result, many formation legacies had been lost. However, the formation that Xia Chen had set up was enough to block the endless tide of the blood race and the devoured soul black armor cores all on its own. 
that made countless experts sigh in admiration. Kill. Suddenly, furious roars made them jump. The explosive blood bull monsters were once more charging forward, seeing that the devoured soul black armor corps' sneak attack had been exposed. The blood ray switched to breaking through directly. They sent all their forces crashing forward. The explosive blood bull monsters were different from before. They now held giant hammers as big as themselves, and their auras were much stronger than before. The tens of thousands of explosive blood bull monsters trampled their way through the battlefield. Behind them was a giant army of the blood race. Everything before was just to numb Long Chen and the others. They want to charge out in one go so that none of us have a chance to save Long Chen and the others. Startled cries rang out. The blood race's strategy had essentially been exposed. The blood race had acted equally matched with the Dragonblood Legion to paralyze the Dragonblood Legion and the Martial Heaven Continent's experts for this critical moment. Their target wasn't the Dragonblood Legion. They wanted to break the formation. Once they broke through, they would pour out over the continent. Being able to create this opening was of utmost importance to them. Time to eat. Wild roared. And without anyone needing to tell him anything, he transformed into a giant, smashing his bone club with unstoppable power. Boom. One of the explosive blood bull monsters raised its giant hammer, only to have that hammer explode on contact with Wild's club. As a result, the explosive blood bull monster was killed in one blow. Thousands of explosive blood bull monsters charged at Wild, but Wild's bone club repeatedly swung through the air. He was like a violent tempest raging through their midst. The explosive blood bull monsters were unable to stop Wild. He was too powerful. However, their numbers were great. If one died, two would come. If two died, three would come. They fearlessly surrounded Wild. A giant hammer smashed into the back of Wild's head, causing him to roar. A fierce ache came from where he had been struck. He smashed his club at the one who had struck him. After that, Wild reached back toward the back of his head and felt a big bump. It was bloody. Wild's gaze changed. Die. With a heaven-shaking roar, Wild's pupils became golden. An ancient and wild aura exploded from within him. It was like an ancient monster was awakening. Chapter 2258 Huo Long comes out with a furious roar. Wild began to grow even larger, his blood chi soaring. It looked like countless pythons were crawling beneath his skin. When Wild smashed his club on the ground, the earth exploded, and a wild chi wave swept out in every direction. That chi wave was so devastating that the nearby explosive blood bull monsters were directly blown to smithereens. The current wild was like an ancient beast that had been provoked. His roar was not the voice of a human, while his eyes were like golden lanterns that terrified anyone who saw them. Wild began a violent slaughter of the explosive blood bull monsters. With every swing of his club, a swath of them were blown apart. Even these incredibly powerful explosive blood bull monsters were shattering like porcelain in front of Wild. Bloody mist followed Wild as he charged through their midst. With a powerful breath, Wild sucked in that bloody mist. He was like a devil possessed by a desire to slaughter. Every time his club smashed, it claimed the lives of dozens of explosive blood bull monsters. What is he? The Martial Heaven Continent's experts were horrified by Wild's transformation. He looked to be out of control, like his own power would make his body explode. Even the Dragonblood warriors were given a fright. They had never seen Wild enter such a berserk state. So he felt foreign even to them. That icy killing intent surging out of him was completely different from his normal foolish and pure herded self. However, even as Wild slaughtered the explosive blood bull monsters, the blood race wasn't frightened. The blood race's experts and the devoured soul black armor cores advanced fearlessly. Dragonblood Five Star Heavenly Slaughter Formation shouted Guo Ran. All the Dragonblood warriors gathered together, with Guo Ran, Gu Yang. Li Qi, Song Mingyuan, and Yu Zifeng abandoning their current opponents to join them. The Dragonblood Legion quickly formed a giant five-star formation in the air. This was a formation that Xia Chen had modified for the Dragonblood Legion's use. The main inspiration for this was Long Chen's five-star battle armor. The principles were a bit similar to how the five-point star in his divine ring condensed energy. Guo Ran, Gu Yang, Li Qi, Song Mingyuan and Yu Zifeng were each on one point of the star. 
becoming the sharp blade of that point. The formation had only just been activated when Yu Zifeng's sword swung out. The top experts of the blood race that he had been struggling with before were torn to pieces in an instant. What boom? The five-point star formation quickly revolved. The dragonblood warriors were as quick as lightning. Their manifestations were all linked. And Gu Yang unleashed a giant spear image that killed all the blood race's experts in its midst. Following that, Li Qi, Song Mingyuan, and Guo Ran also attacked. As a result, they each unleashed shocking attacks that decimated the blood race's army. How can such a formation exist? It can gather the energy of over 10,000 people for one person to use. People saw that when the five of them attacked, everyone's manifestations would dim momentarily. Then an absolutely astonishing attack would follow. Even the top experts of the blood race were unable to block those attacks. Tian Zizi, Kun Pengzi, Dongfang Yuyang, and Long Chen's other enemies were all shaken. If they were to fight the Dragonblood Legion now, would they need to have enough power to defeat 10,000 of them at once? The Dragonblood Legion's formation became a spinning wheel of death. Those who touched it died without question. As a result, the Blood Race's intense attack slowed down. Just at that moment, Meng Chi appeared behind the formation. She once more summoned 108 12th rank magical beasts. The magical beasts unleashed a simultaneous attack again, and multicolored lights flew above the Dragon Blood Legion, tearing through the Blood Race's army. The earth trembled. In response to this, the Blood Race was bringing out more of the Siege War chariots. This time, they had brought out hundreds of them. Guo Ran's expression changed. Dragonblood Shuriken Formation He left the formation, and the five-point star became four points, with Gu Yang, Li Qi, Song Mingyuan, and Yu Zifeng guarding each point. This formation's power was a bit weaker than the previous one, but its killing power was still astonishing. Idiot. Are you pigs? Don't you remember what happened last time? Guo Ran sneered. His giant crossbow appeared. This time, his arrows were silver. An arrow shot out, reaching the still distant siege war chariots in an instant. It shot into one of the cannons. Boom. The huge siege war chariot actually instantly exploded. The reason that Guo Ran hadn't been able to do the same before was because the blood race's forging process was completely different. Guo Ran had never seen anything like it. They didn't use runes for their explosions. Instead, there was some kind of compressed energy inside and the only way to detonate it was to break through its outer shell. He had tried to use a hundred different kinds of exploding arrows to detonate the cannonballs at the start, but had been unable to do anything to them. Later on, after killing one of the controllers of the siege war chariots and taking command of one, he had learned some secrets about them and managed to blow one up with just a single arrow. Originally, he had thought that the blood race had learned their lesson and wouldn't use them any longer. However, now he didn't know if they even had brains. They took the chariots out once more. Perhaps in their eyes, his destruction of one of the siege war chariots was just a lucky coincidence. So they took out so many at once. Hundreds of them were pointed at the Dragonblood Legion. If they all shot at once, then the Dragonblood Legion would definitely be destroyed. That was why Guo Ran had left the formation. He knew that he was the only one capable of stopping these siege war chariots. Guo Ran unleashed one arrow after another, destroying nine of them in an instant. The explosive blood bull monsters that were pulling them were blown apart in the ensuing explosions. Kill him, the blood race's experts roared. Their strongest members all charged at Guo Ran. Scram. Don't delay my important matters. Guo Ran's wings flapped as he dodged them. His arrows continued to fly out causing the explosion of a siege war chariot with every shot. Guo Ran was extremely fast with his armor, so those experts were unable to catch up to him. They furiously cursed him but were unable to stop him. It was unknown who gave the order, but the siege war chariots began to lower their cannons. They had learned their lesson. If the cannons weren't facing Guo Ran, he couldn't shoot into them. Guo Ran snorted. A cold smile appeared on his face, and another arrow shot out. Although his arrows did possess the ability to curve after he shot, the angle was limited. From such a distance, he couldn't control it perfectly. However, this arrow wasn't aimed at the cannon. It was aimed at an iron plate at the bottom of the siege war chariot. 
That iron plate was instantly pierced by the arrow, and another explosion followed. The place that Guo Ran had shot was where one of the cannonballs was stored. The siege war chariots only held ten cannonballs at a time, but having entered one before, he knew where the cannonballs were. The cannonballs were placed separately, but fortunately his armor-piercing arrow was strong enough to pierce through the outer shell and still detonate the cannonball. Kill him, no matter the price. The blood races experts couldn't allow Guo Ran to keep going, and a huge army flew after him. Some of them used their bodies to block his line of sight. Guo Ran shot three more arrows, but due to a slight deviation from piercing their bodies, the arrows missed. Guo Ran couldn't help starting to panic. As the siege war chariots were getting closer, the Dragonblood Legion was about to enter their range. There were too many members of the blood race in his way, disrupting him. He couldn't aim accurately enough in this state. Suddenly, a terrifying wave of heat enveloped the world. A giant dragon appeared, incinerating the blood race's experts that were stopping Guo Ran. Even the strongest members of the blood race that had gone to stop Guo Ran were forced to flee with the flames burning their bodies. As for other experts, they were simply turned to ash. Haha, <laughs> thank you boss. Protected by Huo Long, Guo Ran laughed. Flame runes appeared on his armor, and his crossbow once more began to shoot at the siege war chariots. Chapter 2259 No time to wait for you Long Chen had summoned Huo Long at this critical moment to protect Guo Ran. None of the blood race's experts could survive staying in its flames. Arrows shot out from the flames, detonating the siege war chariots one by one. With Huo Long's protection, Guo Ran was able to shoot from within the flames but the blood race's experts didn't dare to charge into the flames. The power of the inverse Tao water spirit flame was not to be underestimated. For a moment, the blood race's army was thrown into a panic. They hastily ordered the siege war chariots to retreat. It had only been a few breaths time, but dozens of the siege war chariots had already been destroyed by Guo Ran. Unfortunately, the siege war chariots were too big to be that agile. The explosive blood bull monsters that pulled them along were also in chaos. Some of them began to flee without regard for orders. Guo Ran continued unleashing his arrows. The chaos resulted in him destroying all the hundreds of siege war chariots before they could properly retreat. It's done. Guo Ran didn't tarry after handling the siege war chariots. He returned to the Dragonblood Legion. As for Huo Long, after helping out Guo Ran, it vanished leaving behind only ashes on the ground. On the way back to the Dragonblood Legion, Guo Ran looked at Long Chen who was still in an intense fight with the Golden Horned Blood Expert. The void there was flashing. Black Chi and Golden Light clashed. Twisting space. That was a world-shaking battle. But the twisted space meant that people couldn't see it clearly. It was impossible to tell who had the advantage. Guo Ran had to charge through a tide of the Blood Race's experts to reach the Dragonblood Legion. They were in a tough situation due to the sheer numbers of the blood race. Their assault came from every direction now, causing their formation to slow down and making it more difficult to push through. Menki's magical beasts were also forced to join in, but their intelligence was limited, and Menchi couldn't perfectly control so many of them in battle. When they were angered, they might even furiously counterattack regardless of Menki's orders. As a result, Menki's magical beast army was quickly cut down. When the magical beasts were fighting on their own, they couldn't hold against the blood race and the devoured soul black armor core's numbers. Lu Ruian, Chu Yao, Yi Zhikyu, Tang Wanur, and Cloud were all doing their best to slaughter their enemies. Their robes were covered in blood. The air was full of bloody mist as the battle reached an exceptionally intense level. As for Xia Chen, the work of his formation was not at all inferior to the Dragonblood Legion. The Dragonblood Legion was only able to stop a portion of the Blood Race's torrent. The majority managed to charge through, as that was their main objective. After getting past the Dragonblood Legion, the only thing left in their way was Xia Chen's formation. Xia Chen was seated, six formation discs arranged around him. His hands repeatedly pressed down on various spots of the formation discs. Sharp swords flew through the air, and arrows rained down from the sky. Other than those attacks, illusory beasts would occasionally appear to attack the blood race's experts. Xia Chen's killing formation was at full power, 
and mountains of enemy corpses had piled up. When those corpses ended up blocking his sight, Xia Chen would activate the formation to summon a gust of astral winds that blew them apart. Even from a great distance, the Martial Heaven Continent's experts were deeply shaken by what they were seeing. This battle was incredibly savage. Many of them were sweating. Normally, they fought for themselves. But this cruel battle showed them just how minuscule their little bit of power was. No matter how powerful someone was, in the face of this endless tide, they would be drowned. Xia Chen's fingers pressed various runes on the formation disc. Each rune represented a change in the formation. Sometimes one rune could activate an attack from the formation, and sometimes it took multiple runes to unleash a different attack. Xia Chen's fingers were quick as lightning as he controlled the formation. All kinds of attacks were unleashed, creating a region of death. Whenever the blood race's experts looked like they were about to breach his formation, Xia Chen would slap an entire formation disc, causing countless needles to shoot out of the earth. Those experts struck would instantly become pitch black and corrode. Xia Chen was like a musician playing an overture of death for the blood race's army. Li Jing stood behind Xia Chen, not daring to move, seeing the endless tide of the sinister blood race and the devoured soul black armor cores. She was terrified, afraid that they would reach them and tear them apart. The only thing that offered her any comfort was that Xia Chen remained calm. He didn't seem the slightest bit nervous. Suddenly, a glaring light lit up the battlefield. The void in the distance collapsed, drawing people's attention. The golden horned blood expert had torn apart the void behind him, and from that crack, a giant blood sea had surged out. His aura grew violent and sinister. As for Long Chen, there was a sea of lightning behind him. The lightning and blood clashed, the two opposing forces causing bursts of light more intense than the sun. Immersed in the lightning, a giant pair of lightning wings appeared on Long Chen's back, holding Evil Moon in his right hand and a lightning spear in his left hand. He coldly looked at the shocked golden horned blood expert. The pillars of light shining out of the golden horned blood expert's back were stretched into the sea of blood, giving him an endless source of power. This was a secret technique of the golden horned blood race. It gathered all the accumulated faith of one race. However, his blood sea domain was actually suppressed by Long Chen's lightning domain. Just who are you? demanded the golden horned blood expert. This sea of blood had its own history. It had the human race's essence blood within it as well. It was one of the trump cards of the Golden Horned Blood race to use against the human race. When the Blood Sea was summoned, it would affect the blood of human experts, reducing their combat power. It was a powerful trump card capable of not only boosting their own power, but also restricting the power of the human race. In his previous exchanges with Long Chen, he had thought that they were evenly matched. However, when Long Chen had summoned Huo Long to help Guo Ran, it had enraged him. Long Chen hadn't been using his full power. That was an insult to him. In his fury, he had directly summoned this powerful trump card. He no longer cared if the other humans saw this trump card. He just wanted Long Chen dead. However, Long Chen's sea of lightning had blocked it. Furthermore, the bloodline suppression of the blood sea didn't affect him at all. That was why the Golden Horned Blood expert guessed that Long Chen wasn't even part of the human race. The person who will kill you. Long Chen smiled coldly and didn't bother saying more. Time was running out. He had at most half an incense stick's worth of time before his mission was complete. Sundering lightning heavenly wings. The huge lightning wings on Long Chen's back slashed down like blades. On the other side, the Golden Horned Blood expert roared furiously. A blood spear shot out of the sea of blood and struck Long Chen's wings. Boom. The spear and wings exploded at the same time. Lightning and blood runes fell to the ground. Wild lightning soul battle spear. Boom. Split the heavens eight. Long Chen used three of his strongest attacks at once. Even though the golden horned blood expert was able to block them, he was forced back over and over. You. When he saw the eighth form of split the heavens, his expression completely changed. Long Chen had previously used the eighth form of Split the Heavens, but this time it was completely different. Previously, his attack had contained the form, but not the power of this attack. This was done by Long Chen to numb his opponent into thinking that this attack was only this powerful. Now, Long Chen's true attack came, 
a fully powered eighth form of Split the Heavens. The Golden Horn Blood Expert reacted too slowly to this realization. The previous two attacks had shaken his blood, making him powerless to block it. With a furious howl, he stepped into his sea of blood, vanishing within it. The blood sea at the front condensed into a giant shield. Unfortunately, the giant shield was cleanly cut in two, unable to bear the power of split the heavens. Impossible. The golden horned blood expert cried out in shock. Long Chen sneered. He had previously used the eighth form of split the heavens against this guy without putting any power behind it to cover up the shield breaking effect of split the heavens. This was the result. The golden horned blood expert quickly sent his chains flying out to block it. As a result, the chains blew up along with his arms. Evil Moon then sliced him apart from his shoulder to waist, cutting him in two. The lightning spear in Long Chen's left hand immediately followed up, piercing toward the golden horned blood expert's head. Boom. Suddenly, a hand reached out from the sea of blood, blocking Long Chen's spear. It was like Long Chen was struck by lightning and he coughed up a mouthful of blood. A fourth step nether passage expert. Long Chen was startled. A fourth step nether passage expert had actually interfered through the sea of blood to save the golden horn blood expert's life little human. Just wait. I'll cut off your head sooner or later, roared the golden horn blood expert, retreating with his blood sea. I'm very busy and don't have the time to wait for you. Long Chen chased after him. Long Chen, get back. Upon seeing Long Chen chase the Golden Horned Blood Expert, Hu Jinying and the others' expressions changed. They shouted after him. Chapter 2260 Yi Ben Chang The reason why Hu Jinying and the others' expressions changed was because once Long Chen chased him into the depths of the Yun Yang world, he would be outside the range of the Remnant Sovereign Aura. In that case, the Blood Race's fourth step Nether Passage experts would be free to attack him, and there would be no way he could return. However, they were too far from Long Chen. Their shouting was drowned out by the sound of battle. Long Chen isn't impetuous. He'll be fine, comforted the old man. If he doesn't count as impetuous, does anyone in this world count? Raged Hu Jinying. Long Chen had done plenty of brainless things. Long Chen had gone through the seal, so their shouting was useless. However, the three days were about to be up. At that time, they would be able to help the Dragonblood Legion. The battle was growing more intense, and the Dragonblood Legion was starting to show signs of not being able to hold. The Blood Race's numbers were simply too great. Xia Chen's formation was also starting to break. The formations at the front had shattered along with one of his formation discs. The formation discs were the crux of his formation. With one broken, it indicated that a corner of the formation had also been broken. However, Xia Chen's expression was still calm. His fingers danced across his remaining discs, controlling the grand formation. The Blood Race's army continued to pour out and collapse on his formation, while the rest of the Dragon Blood Legion was only able to protect themselves at this point. Menki's 108 peak 12th rank magical beasts had been rapidly cut down, leaving her with just over 10. This was a desperate battle. Yi's Hikyu, Tang Wanur and Cloud were the same. This high-level battle had taken up a great deal of their energy. The only one still in their peak state was Dong Mingyu. However, the majority of her time was spent protecting Meng Qi. Now that many of her magical beasts had been killed, she was able to unleash more soul arts. It could be said that Meng Qi's soul arts had a terrifying effect on this chaotic battle. When the Blood Race's army entered her spiritual domain, their minds would grow sluggish sharply reducing their combat power. Without her, things would have been far worse. To protect Meng Qi from any top experts that targeted her, Dong Mingyu rarely left her side. Any experts who approached Meng Qi would have their lives reaped. Dong Mingyu was frightening, but this kind of battle didn't allow her to show her full potential. While she was protecting Meng Qi, the most she could do was pick off a few powerful targets to reduce the pressure on the others. As for Wild. His gigantic form had vanished a while ago. The explosive Blood Bull monsters had all been killed and eaten by him. Without their energy to support him, he was forced to go back to his 300-meter form. When he had calmed down from his berserk state, he was overcome by a wave of exhaustion and almost fainted. He hastily took out some meat rations to eat. 
Wild ate as he fought, but he remained hungry. He had used up too much energy. In his hunger, he had ended up stuffing a few corpses from the devoured soul black armor cores into his mouth, only to instantly spit them out. Although he wasn't picky, they tasted completely unbearable. Helplessly, Wild could only fight while racked with hunger. Even as he consumed his rations, he wasn't able to keep up with his energy expenditure. Time's almost up. Martial Heaven Alliance. Prepare for battle shouted Kujinying. The Martial Heaven Virtue Tablet came out. Just at this moment, the void split open, and a man wearing robes of the Divine Families appeared. He unleashed a slash of his sword, sending a streak of sword light through the Blood Race's army. All the Blood Race's experts in the line of his attack were annihilated Novaloon.com What's going on? Is the time up? Wasn't there a few seconds left? Seeing someone from the Divine Families come out, people were startled. This person wasn't Shen Chen Feng. It was a slim, middle-aged man with a mustache and beard. His aura was just as powerful as Shen Chen Feng's. He was a third-step nether passage expert that gave off an alarming pressure. The air of an immortal Daoist radiated out of him. Xia Chen's expression changed when that sword landed. He angrily shouted, What are you doing? The middle-aged man's attack hadn't just killed the blood race's experts. It had also destroyed the core of his formation. The entire formation was ruined, and the blood race's army charged out. The dragon blood legion has failed to stop the blood race for the agreed-upon time. The blood race's army has managed to charge onto the land of the martial heaven continent. All forces, hear my orders. Stop the blood race's army, shouted the middle-aged man. What the dragon blood warriors were infuriated. This was completely intolerable. Just as they were about to succeed, he ruined all their efforts. It wasn't just the dragon blood legion. The martial heaven alliance's people were all enraged. This was shameless to the peak. Bastard, you are courting death, raged Xia Chen. This was clearly toying with the dragon blood legion. The divine families didn't have any sincerity. You dare to blaspheme the divine families? You are the one courting death. One of the nether passage experts beside the middle-aged man suddenly attacked. He was quick and ruthless. His sword arriving in front of Xia Chen in an instant. Stop. The dragon blood warriors raged. Xia Chen wasn't a warrior and definitely could not survive an attack from a nether passage expert. They stopped caring about the blood race's army and charged back. Boom. Just as the sword was about to strike Xia Chen, another sword pierced through the void shattering the attacking sword. The void rumbled, and a huge army of the Divine Family's experts appeared. They immediately blocked the exit, slaying the Blood Race's experts. These people were all Nether Passage experts, and they easily cut down the Blood Race's experts and the devoured soul black armor cores. The battlefield was emptied. As for the one who had saved Xia Chen, it was Shen Cheng Feng. He coldly looked at the middle-aged man, Yi Ben Chang. Just what are you doing? The old man's heaven splitting blade was already out. He had started charging over, but when Shen Cheng Feng appeared, Ku Jinying and the other experts pulled him back. Clearly, Shen Cheng Feng had been keeping an eye on things the entire time. As for this Yi Ben Chang, Shen Cheng Feng was familiar with him, so the others could only watch. Just from this, they could tell that the interior of the divine families was very complicated. Before they figured out what the problem was, the smart thing to do was to keep watching. In any case, all the experts present had seen that it was Yi Ben Chang who had intentionally ruined things. They could all testify for the Dragon Blood Legion. What am I doing? Eighth Commander. Did you not see? The Dragon Blood Legion failed. If I hadn't interfered, the Blood Race's army would have charged onto the Martial Heaven Continent, said Yi Ben Chang lightly. Bullshit. The dragon blood warriors had already returned, and now the only thing separating them from Yi Ben Chang was the Divine Family's army. Shut up. If you continue showing disrespect for the seventh commander, then all of you will die here, shouted the expert who had attacked Xia Chen. What big words. I want to see just who has that ability an icy voice suddenly rang out. Startled, everyone saw that Long Chen had returned to the battlefield. He was covered in blood with injuries to his shoulder, chest, and thighs. The injury to his shoulder in particular was so deep that they could see bone. Those injuries had death energy within them. 
They were sucking up Long Chen's life energy so that he couldn't heal. That's the power of a fourth step nether passage expert. People's pupils narrowed upon seeing those injuries. Those injuries were caused by a fourth step nether passage expert. The blood race was different from the human race, but the realm known as the nether passage realm was similar for each race, especially their control over life and death energy. Long Chen had actually exchanged blows with the fourth step nether passage expert and survived. When they saw what he was holding in his hand, they let out startled cries. It was a head, the head of the golden horned blood expert. His eyes were wide open and dim. His expression was one of terror and unwillingness. Long Chen had actually charged into the enemy world and killed him in front of a fourth step nether passage expert, then returned with his head. Everyone, including Shen Chen Feng and Yi Ben Chang, was shocked. Were you the one who attacked my brother just now? Long Chen tossed the head to Guo Ran. He took out a towel and wiped off the blood on his hands. Those who blaspheme the divine families deserve 10,000 deaths. Killing him is simply his punishment. What? Do you have some opinion? Sneered that man. Opinion? No. Don't misunderstand. I don't have any opinion. This made that man's sneer grow even bigger. He clearly didn't care about Long Chen. I've never liked expressing my opinions. Since you've admitted it, I don't need to worry about killing the wrong person. Long Chen smiled. Long Chen. Ku Jin Ying and the others started. Long Chen attacked before he finished his sentence and smashed a fist at that person's head without any warning. This was purely the power of his physical body, but he was so fast that no one could react. 